Um, today, today was a bad day. Uh, it was all going well until PE. Um, we, were, we were playing football, and um, although I was I was in one of the defensive positions, I managed to get up front and uh, and score a goal, and that that was really cool. Um, and then I tried my luck again, and I kicked the ball uh, a little too hard, and it went it went wide straight into Ricky Jamison's uh, face, and he got oh, he got really angry. Um, I think he's going to try and beat me up. Uh, he was. He, the ref had to stop him for a second. As it, it looked like it was going to go really bad, and uh, he's just all. He sat us both down, and he he said, "Bonsoir, and welcome to Pot Topic Podcast, issue number zero one six, motherfucker." <laughs> that was <more> late. <laughs> that was so late. I am also happy. <laughs> So, I'm your host, Tom, and to my left we have our host, we have Kel. Evening. We have Eddie. Buongiorno. We have Andy. Uh, hello. We have Alex. For a regional variation of a traditional family favourite, try making your shepherd's pie with some locally sourced, ethically sourced, free-range badger mints. <laughs> <laughs> and we have Taron. Hello, I'm Taron. Wow, it's weird you not doing the whimsy then. That's really thrown me off. I wonder what badger tastes like. Chicken. Gaming. <laughs> I was going to make a vagina Mushroom. joke, but let's go and carry on. In this podcast, we have two pots. Shut up. We have two pots. Is that mushroom? Yeah. <laughs> well, pro- yeah, probably slugs and mushrooms, yeah. No, with a hint of snake. <laughs> I'm a, I'm a snake. Oh, no, sorry, Tom. No, let's not get into internet memes. Carry on. Why, why don't you tell the good people what we do here? <laughs> We do something. You, you basically listen to it. We just do this shit for about two <laughs> hours. We have two pots. We have topics from both the hosts of the podcast and we have topics from the community. We throw them in, pick them out at random, talk about them for about two hours and you get bored. Cool. So, <laughs> self deprecation. <laughs> like, yeah, you're all about the hard sell, aren't you? Tom? I really am. Um, so, Kel wants stripper tits. I mean, what's that about? <laughs> what, are, I, they, are they like chicken strippers covered in breadcrumbs and dip them in d- herby garlic <laughs> <laughs> you know stripper tits that's what I thought of just dangling goujons <laughs> <laughs> they will be eventually dangling goujons I'm sure dangling goujons <laughs> In the last issue, I realised, thanks to Taryn pointing out to me, that we make several references to a uh, blooper that never actually happened because mm. we were playing um, copyrighted music in the background while we were talking. Oh, really? <laughs> yes. Oh. So we can talk about your stripper tits. So you want stripper tits? I want big, redonkulous, round stripper tits. Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Funsies. <laughs> but th- they, they look terrible. I know. It's awesome. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> you can't really say anything again, like, can you? It's like, oh, all right, cool. You're willfully being a dickhead. <laughs> it, it'll, match, it'll match her personality. <laughs> I did. I did. I did, <laughs> I did make the mistake of, um, of when she first told us. Uh, I said, "Well, if you still want them in a year, maybe you said we'll you start... paid for them." No, I said we'd start putting some money into it. I was there, mate. You said pay for him. He did, didn't he? I did not say pay for him. I will not, <laughs> I will not pay for that abomination. Do you know what? Just Where's the whiskey? Yeah, let's, let's go on with the whiskey. So, Tom, tell us what you brought. I accidentally bought two bottles of whiskey, but one of well, them I'm we're saying. saving to have with bacon pancakes in a minute because I got a bottle of Jim Beam maple. Oh, it's so tasty. It's, it's so tasty. fucking sweet, and I forgot to press start on the timer. Um, right, so... <laughs> I unfortunately did buy a single scotch, a single malt scotch whiskey that I can't pronounce. So I'm going to attempt it and then pass it to someone who actually can pronounce it. Oshun Toshan. Uh, the uh, the and uh, um, sorry, I, I need to see it. But, to be I, I think it's, 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 it should be pronounced with a German accent. Ochentoschen. <laughs> well, see, that, that's the Dutch thing. Dutch is like, better. Ochentoschen. When, when, <laughs> when I first uh, tried it, so I, I, I sort of read it as um, the Ochentoschen. And then I was in Glasgow last year. I was just talking about, oh, so I like this movie. Like, oh, the uh, the Ochentoschen is quite nice. And, and this dude just goes, um, pal, it's, it's, you, you want to pronounce it, uh, Ochentoschen. But if you go into a bar. Did I get it right? Sorry? Did I get it right? You got it more or less right, yeah. Um, <laughs> it referred to it as Pish, and it's made in Glasgow, so. Let's see. Let's Wonderful! See how well this goes. Someone can do that with who doesn't have a laptop in front of them. Yeah. <laughs> has, has it got a cork? It does, let's pop it. Oh, oh milk that! Oh. <laughs> Good pop. 
<laughs> Good pop. I like the milk in. <laughs> so. <laughs> you like milk in your whiskey? <laughs> the milking of the squeak. Oh, uh, whatever. The, right. no, the milky of the squeaker. I, I like milky, good squeaker. Milky. Right, I'm going to take one from the host pot then. Since um, no one else has jumped in. Are we, are we not, not going to do the preamble? We're not. We're... <laughs> I'm not. I'm going to leave that to the side and then get on with the preamble. Don't, don't rush me, mate. <laughs> So what one, we all been one doing? One day it all happened in order. <laughs> Fuck's sake! <laughs> I'm so angry at myself. I thought I was doing so well. <laughs> What's everyone been doing this week? Myself, I think I've um, not done anything apart from work, except my girlfriend has recently become unemployed through her own choice, just leaving her work before becoming a full time student. So it's got like a couple of weeks off before going back to uni. Mm -hmm. Um in which we had a lovely day together where I realized what our relationship actually is. Um, so I took her to the farm. She, she, she didn't, <laughs> she didn't, um, particularly have the best time ever because she didn't get to play with how she puts it. The sheeps. The sheeps. Um, <laughs> uh, how do you, how do you play with the sheep? I, I don't know. <laughs> I, I, I imagine you just crumple yeah, to your knees and cuddle it. Yeah. Fair enough. I go, Oh, sheeps. Uh, I then took her to have fast food. That was a lovely burrito. And then we uh, went to the toy shop and I bought her a little hel remote control drone and <laughs> got home and then realised I'd been treating my girlfriend like a four-year-old the entire day. <laughs> oh, we're all big kids. I'm sure she loved it. Yeah, she did. <laughs> it's just that weird point where you've now got to go to the bedroom. <laughs> it's like, I've been treating you like a four-year-old. I'm going to treat you like a four-year-old. <laughs> <laughs> Oh God! Oh, oh dear! Oh God! Is it, it's time for your cookies and milk. <laughs> Kids do anything for dearly. Right. Um, who's next? Go on. Um, I've been. Um, I've, I've, I've took up some. Took on some work at the some extra work at the Globe. I'm doing a show run of a Greek tragedy called the um, the Oresteia. Um And this, I uh, two two. There there are two notable things from this um, during. I don't have a busy plot. I don't have a lot to do during the show. There's just stuff that I need to be there for. Um, so during like the rehearsals and even during the shows, I'm basically being paid to read, which is fucking awesome. I've I've already like ploughed through um, the Wind Up Girl by uh, Paolo Bacigalupi. Mm -hmm. That was a really interesting near fu uh, near future sci-fi. Um, and I did, oh, yes, and I finally read Good Omens. I say oh, wow. by by Pratchett and uh, Gaiman. I, although I say finally, I, I in fact read it because I found it on my shelf and it's, yeah. it's been read. And I thought, oh, clearly I've read it. Maybe, maybe I'll sort of remind myself. And I just I didn't remember any of it. It's a really good book. I really like that book. I didn't remember any any of it apart from this one scene towards the end where they're having a seance. Yes, and I sort of I, I remembered that. Is that. But that that was it. I remembered. Um, yeah. but, and um and since then I've sort of got partway through the second Witcher book, Blood, uh, Blood of Elves by That's, Andrei I, I really wish I could do that. I'm not sure I could read through all the Witcher books. Why? They're brilliant. <sighs> they're so big. No, they're not. Are they not? No, no, no. They're not big at all. I thought they were massive. No, no, no. He's, he's, he's a good writer. He, he knows what he wants to say and says it. <laughs> well, rather than just dancing Ooh. around talking about late, like kind of dynasties of elves and bullshit. Speaking of which, I've finished a book as well. Congratulations. I, I, I finished Ready Player One. Right, um, okay. I say I read it. Audiobook. <laughs> <laughs> but it was narrated by Will Whedon, which is oh, nice. brilliant. Read by him, sorry, not narrated. And he's actually mentioned in the book as being like a, a runner for candidacy for president of this virtual world. Hmm. <laughs> which is pretty cool. <laughs> cool. Oh, Ooh. and and sorry. Oh, that's a peasy whiskey. It's a nice whiskey. Mm. I like that. I also went to go see Lord of the Flies in uh, Regent's Park Open Air Theatre. That was pretty uh, cool. Ah, nice one. Yeah, it's a good theatre. I've, I've worked there once or twice. Although I, it it was all right. It it was good, but it wasn't as good as the last thing I saw there, which was um, Midsummer Night's Dream. Um, oh, was this starring Stephen Fry? No, no. This was um, it. It was basically a re reimagining where. It was all Based like in big fat like, gypsy, gypsy. Wed wedding. Yeah. It was fucking amazing. Oh, okay. Really good. Um, so, oh yeah, and the other thing about doing this this Greek tragedy is I've learned something that all Greek tragedies need. It just makes them so much better. There was this point during rehearsal where um, 
like the queen she's just killed someone and the actress she's on stage she is literally doused with fake blood she is just red from head to toe and she's on on stage uh, going, I am not the queen, I am the blood mad fury of the family! And at that moment, this being the globe and open tops, two Chinooks just go fly up to the. <laughs> <laughs> so you got like this huge noise and she's proclaiming to the heavens, and just all the air coming down and her dress billowing, like, that's how you greet tragedy! <laughs> <laughs> with helicopters, make everything better with helicopters. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so that, that was pretty cool. Um, nice. Anybody else? I've, um, I've both killed a squirrel and saved a wood pigeon this week. <laughs> <laughs> so you are karma incarnate. Yeah, I guess it kind of evens out. I mean, the first squirrel, it was more likely assisted suicide. Um, <laughs> I did tell Dr. it. Dr. Kevorkian for rodents. I, I did I did tell it. I was like, you are a pest. I'm now legally obliged to kill you. Um, however, I'm going to give you a chance. I'm, I'm going to shake this branch a bit. Um, I'm a tree surgeon, by the way. And the... Well, he decided not to go. So um, I started cutting it. And instead of jumping to the next tree, you know, he just thought he would try and fly and... Um, didn't. <laughs> no, mammals aren't known for their Didn't flying abilities the much. No. And then I met a um a wood pigeon in its nest, and it was um it was clearly you know it was sticking around, and letting mum and dad pick up the bills. Um, oh, lazy <laughs> name about pigeons. Fully formed, wings and everything. I was kicking the nest. They were like, "Go on, you fucker, get out, fucking sky rat." <laughs> <laughs> but um no, he wasn't having any of it. So I very very carefully cut the branch that was holding the nest. And it came down very, very carefully. I got to the ground, then I realised I've got a pigeon on a stick. <laughs> <laughs> this is brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> so we just went and plonked it in the top of somebody's hedge and thought, like, wow, well, we'll see what happens. And um, when we when we'd done the job, we went back. So either one of the cats got it, or um, you know, I <laughs> I gave it that first little push it needed, and now it's flying around, shitting on monuments, and spreading diseases. Thanks to me. <laughs> <laughs> aren't you aren't you a good good person i know <laughs> dickhead <sighs> anybody else have we have we recorded since tiki no no, no i was, I was well. waiting i was waiting for that that's, <laughs> that'd be the big one i yeah. just uh, like to say sorry to everyone that attended tiki <laughs> <laughs> Carol got a little bit silly and then turned into a bitch, didn't she? Yeah. <laughs> That's she, how I like her. <laughs> at one point, like, after like tirading at me for about five minutes straight, she got round to calling me, and I, I fucking love this, she called me, you're just a bunch of hair and words and shit. <laughs> <laughs> you're not actually a real person. <laughs> it is essentially what you are I mean, I mean that in the nicest possible sense <laughs> are we all just a bunch I, of hair and words and shit I, I, I yeah. love I love how Alex takes that as a compliment <laughs> <laughs> no but we, uh, we 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 did uh, the end of the summer party and uh, and phew, oh, it's taken me all week to recover really it's taken, it's taken me days yeah. To, yeah. To, to get over that well, I don't know how everyone else felt <laughs> Friday to Monday parties are pretty, um, they're pretty serious affairs. <laughs> Endurance partying. I was, I was doing so well. I was, I was basically on top of things until someone turned up with a bottle of whiskey. It's always your downfall. <laughs> I mean, Unfortunately, I'd... it happens every time someone comes over. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'd said at the beginning uh, of, of the party, it's like, look, it's fine. No one's allowed to buy any whiskey. All right. And we'll be fine. And then, yeah, there on the Sunday, after waking up on the sofa, I walk in and someone's holding a bottle of whiskey. He's like, right, well, <laughs> all better. See off. you later. <laughs> You're my new best friend. I'm not talking to you. I'm talking to the bottle of whiskey. Go I, away. I, I, yes, I actually took it off them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't think we had. A, I don't think we had too many tragedies this, this tiki compared to last tiki. I don't think. It was, I don't think it was. I don't know, somebody fucking annihilated the toilet. They did, didn't they? Did we ever work out who that was? No. Someone, someone threw up massively all over the really? toilet room. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It was because, I mean, I went in, like, someone had told me, that, oh, there, there's been, like, a disaster in the toilet. I went up there and, like, the, the toilet seat was down and that had obviously been cleaned. And the back of the toilet seat was up and that they'd obviously cleaned that. And then went in later when the toilet seat was all up and just, like, the porcelain was just... <laughs> I don't know. It was just covered in just a shredded horror. 
and then went in again later <laughs> and put the toilet seat down. And that's when the real fun began because all over the wall, they somehow managed to like vomit through the toilet seat. They vomit so hard, you know, because their stomach quantum tunneled. <laughs> and ended up on the pipes and the wall behind. Uh, but um, I think that was I think that was about about the worst of it. Mm. I don't I don't think anything else I, terrible well, I happened. Barely here, so I yeah, didn't well, really see no. much. To be fair, most of us were barely here. <laughs> yeah. mm. We we were at best present. Omni. Um, Omni. Uh, and also, hopefully, like I have to I have to have a chat with Howell about it. But there might be a video of some description coming out of that um oh, I've, shown, I've shown tom the bits the making of yeah yeah, yeah. Oh, shadow, yeah. <laughs> so um <laughs> if, if i get my ass together and send it to hal <laughs> maybe maybe something will, will, will come from that <laughs> if watch, you get your ass space. together yeah. that's an interesting turn of phrase i mean your ass is a part at the moment what, <laughs> always what, always what, always ready alex what happened to your never ass? say no <laughs> No, sometimes you can't say no. When I was a child, my parents made me read a book that was called We Can Say No, and it was about strangers who... (laughs) (laughs) Let's let's just take that as a sentiment for the entire Tiki party. We can say no. Don't. Don't Mm. usually. (laughs) I actually talked about you in children's books, Alex. Um, I need to track down a copy of Happy Dog the Happy Dog. Oh yes, yeah, that was a oh, fucking. Yes. Um, if, 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 if you uh, listeners, if you ever get a chance to buy Happy Dog, the Happy Dog, do buy it. You won't regret it. You'll love it forever. You'll never read it to your children, though. Perfect. I will. <laughs> <laughs> of course you will. So, Tom, what you got for us? Well, I'm thinking, Eddie, what have you got? What's yeah. happened in your life in the oh, last couple of weeks? Um, went to see Iggy Pop and Royal Bloods on Saturday, and Foo Fighters did the encore. It's kind of fun. Very nice. Cool. Well, that's a bit of a lineup. Yeah, and um, guests were uh, drummer from Queen, and right? The uh, bassist from Led Zeppelin. Hmm. Oh, nice. Um, oh, okay. Uh, so John it's a small Paul. shindig. Yeah, just so a tiny Paul's little intimate right. gig at Melbourne King's Bowl. <laughs> 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 just me, a couple of friends, and about six thousand random strangers. <laughs> Very drunk, but um, yeah, because um, the drummer from Queen was drumming. Uh, Taylor got to sing the Frankie bit, the the Freddie bit, and um, oh shit, they did the uh, Bowie bit for Under Pressure. Fucking hell, oh, so that's, so that's that. got to be cool. To and watch. there was a truly awesome moment. I know it's become a fad at most outside or most gigs actually, but um, you know when they cut the lights, hold the phones up, fireflies. Yeah. Um, Dave was very complimentary of his road crew because the whole throne, you know about his broken Oh, leg. yes, they brought the throne from yeah. the States, didn't Basically, they? Basically, yeah. in, in his oxycotton mind, he scribbled like what looked like a lollipop with laser beams coming out of it, yeah? Right. Gave it to the road crew. Two days later, he's got a fully remote-controlled throne of guitars and lasers. It looked amazing. <laughs> oh, wow. It is like, so cool. Oh, I haven't seen it. It is literally like if 2001 threw up on a David Bowie video. It's that <laughs> awesome. Oh, cool. And so that, that yeah, that was Giggles. And um, yeah, and Iggy Pop. Oh, the man can still do it for at least eight of the 15 songs. <laughs> <laughs> it's just, he, he's just, oh, oh. I couldn't imagine seeing him live because he's just like a really noisy skeleton with some skin stretched over. He is. It, he's always been that. That's yeah. the thing. He's never Iggy, changed. Iggy Pop looked fifty at the age of seven. Yeah, and has never aged. <laughs> maybe, maybe he's a lich. But the thing is, <laughs> he's or, just or, a or dead some... body with a soul <laughs> yeah. carved onto. Or, yeah, or a revenant. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but because Iggy's blood is like at least seventy percent heroin right now, um, he can't. <laughs> he can't physically stand still. Like, the man can't. He has to muck around to perform. And you know when you go see metal bands, you see them standing there? Well, because if he stands still, he'll just nod off. I think he's like a shark. (laughs) I think he's like a shark. If he stops moving, he'll fall into a slumber. You know, like, literally, like, he has to move. But literally, he was... um, He was just so active. And you know when you've got so many bands, like Bloodstock, um, how many of the lead singers actually took more than a step or two? Yeah, Other than headbang and put one foot on on a speaker just to really growl into the mic. Apart from Rob Zombie, not yes. many. Yeah. yeah. Whereas Iggy, it's nice to actually watch a performer who's actually feeling the the song and just dancing around like a loon. 
Oh, that's because he's yeah. punk, mate. He's got nothing else to do. <laughs> but I'm sitting there with a um, bit of a name check, but Bex, Bex's sister Rachel and her f- ex-housemate Jack. And yeah. these three people have never been to a food gig. And what's more, um, I don't think they actually intended to catch Iggy. Like, they didn't really, like, they heard he was on. Oh, great, you know. Yeah, yeah. But the f- he played all his big songs at the opener. And then it's amazing how many songs people know. Like, because there's two from Train Spot in Nightclub in and Lust for Life. Uh, yeah, I can't. I can't think of any Iggy Pop passenger. Uh, yeah, this is the thing you would know them if yeah, they played totally. to you. Fair enough. And um, uh, I want to be your yeah. I want to be your dog, um, which is from uh, Lock, Stock and Two Smoking Barrels. So like, he pops mm. up in some of like the the cool alternative English directors and filmmakers, yeah. which is weird considering he's like as California as they come when he wants to be. You know. Awesome. Right. Enough of boring you about music. <laughs> right, on. should we go on with the show then? Fuck it. Yeah, absolutely. All right, this one's from Mr. Ibo Joe Diola. Uh, <laughs> and he's, he's written it in Sanskrit. Yeah, it looks like it. <laughs> uh, hang on, let me translate. Uh, the world has been flooded to the extreme. Extreme, like in Waterworld. You're allowed one nautical craft. What would you have? Like a yacht, speedboat, submarine, pirate ship, dinghy, etc. Lilo. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'd I'd have a uh, I'd probably, an oil platform. <laughs> I would have. <laughs> Is that a craft? Do they move? I suppose they do move, don't they? Oh no! Do you know what? Do you know what I would have? I'd have one of those fucking massive ships that carry the oil platforms out to sea. <laughs> I'd install them. I'd have, I'd have one of those motherfuckers because they are. What are you, I would what are you have... going to power it on? <laughs> Sorry? What, you're just going to get like thousands of Vikings? <laughs> I know, I just, I just live on it. Oh, well, just... well, I mean, there, there's, there's no land, so where the you... fuck am I going to go? Just drifting like some rudderless hippie. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. Have you met Taz? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll start, start my own seasteading community. Seasteading? Have you not heard of seasteading? Was it? Is that like it's, a farmstead? Like, but it's the sea. But it's at sea. Yeah, there, there are people who are, are like making sustainable communities out on like uh, abandoned oil platforms and um, like uh, uh, and ports. And what's, the like. what's the name of it? It's not sea, sea land. Sea land. It's sea, it's sea, land. Sea, 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 land. Uh, sea land's a little different. It's not quite seasteading because they're they they're, they're barely capable of supporting themselves. They're they're reliant on England being you know right there next to them for all their stuff. But yeah, they're, they're people that just live out at sea, like in Taiwan. It, I can t- no that that's an island, Eddie. No, in that- <laughs> off, the, off the coast of Taiwan, there's actually people who like three generations have never stepped foot on land. Oh, oh yeah, I know, I know. There's um yeah, little uh, it's, it's it's a tribe. They just live yeah. on live on their boats, don't they? Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's pretty cool. That's pretty groovy. Um, well, sorry, what would you have? I would have a turn of the century Huckleberry Finn era, um, massive Mississippi. Uh, boat, you know, with the car, yeah, steam steam pa- steam 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 yeah. Um, <laughs> with the bar, the car tables, <laughs> and it would be themed Maverick. Yeah, I was going to say the boat from Maverick. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> That's so much better than that. <laughs> <laughs> if you're going to survive an apocalypse, survive it in comfort with yeah. whiskey. Yes. <laughs> lots of Jack Daniels would be on this boat, and if I've got lots of whiskey, Taz will be on this boat. So everyone come. Sweet. Nah, fuck that kid. <laughs> um, having just literally wa- watched a playthrough of Metal Gear Solid Peace Walker, I'm going to go for... <laughs> well, Metal, Metal Gear Ray. Metal Gear Ray. Yeah. <laughs> That'd be a what, pretty... What is Metal Gear Ray? Metal Gear Ray. Metal Gear? Me- yeah, me- Metal Gear uh, it's Ray got, is... It's basically a nuclear carry... A uh, weapon carrying... It's- it's a bipedal walker that is also amphibious. A submarine thingy. It looks like a ray and screams like a T Rex. Lovely. Homie. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Fucking cool. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> and you'd all call me Big Boss. <laughs> I already do. Yeah. You call me Black Dynamite. I do. Yeah, Jive <laughs> Turkey. Damn <right>. <laughs> <laughs> We've got to make that game. <laughs> I like the idea of having like a, an old old school sort of like pirate ship or or sort of like that sort of thing. But they oh, they're loads of upkeep, man of war maintenance, mate. Like the, the, yeah. you'd have, you need hundreds of people 
sleeping in a matchbox we all to know, be able to upkeep it. We all, all know that's what Mr. Ibiojo would have. Yes. Yeah, absolutely. Like, Diola would definitely have a pirate ship. The bottle mm. of rum. Oh, no, more than a bottle, mate. <laughs> and Johnny Depp. The entire cargo hold <laughs> filled <laughs> with rum. Although Diola might also go for a submarine. Yeah. Because, like, subs It's full of semen. <laughs> 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 and it's nuclear powered, so he's got a hobby. Yes, <laughs> absolutely. Go on, Cal. You got your thoughtful face on. <laughs> and, and no, although it occasionally floats, really air doesn't technically count as <laughs> as a vessel. <laughs> well, she, 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 she'd just tame like a giant octopus and have rain, no, surely. No, octopus is going to be a whale, and I'm going to have a watertight bubble on top of this giant whale that I could build my little house in and just float around on a whale. It's like, it's, like, it's like a whale with a zorb stuck on its yeah, head. that's exactly what it is. <laughs> Just so I understand, are we talking the squirrel's house in Spongebob? Yes. Yeah, that, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Just, <laughs> Just say yes, Kel. Yes, Kel. Well done. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't know. I, I think, I, I, yes, that's all of those. Any of those, that'll do. I like the idea of Lilo, but have you seen have you seen the giant sort of like I don't know somewhere like Ibiza or or, or the Caribbean or something where they have Lilos, but their entire um, like uh, garden patio. No, uh, like total wipeout. Yeah. Except they're giant inflatable total wipeouts where they just they they they're just offshore. No. Oh, oh yes, yeah. I've seen. Entire yeah. inflatable jung to. jungle gyms. <laughs> I really, really want to. Yeah. <laughs> that sounds pretty cool. Yeah, that that would be pretty. I think. Cool. I think okay. I think that comes uh, under the total of life. The only though. problem I is, all of them come with uh, a pervy lifeguard and a hose. So you've got a job then. <laughs> <laughs> I think Stand you... there at the side, spraying the sixteen-year-olds, being like, "This is perfectly normal." <laughs> <laughs> I think God, we can all like to work. Gear. <laughs> we can all agree that basically it's going to be an armada of our individual ships lashed together with Alex towed behind on his lilo. <laughs> <It's> lilo. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I've changed my mind. I've changed my mind. I don't want a lilo. You're welcome all, to come all, aboard. All you need is an owl and a pussycat and a beautiful pea green bow. <laughs> and, um, <laughs> and, then just, and then just take some money and plenty of honey, all wrapped up in a five pound note. Bob's your uncle. Jobs are good. I always wonder. <laughs> I'm not sure that's the way you end it. <laughs> so just to confirm, you take your money and you wrap it in a five pound note. Yeah, Does that with, mean the five pound is not no, but a part with honey as well. Would that not ruin the money? Well, is it, no, this is it, honey proof money. It you, preserves it. You're in a pea green bone, you could just wash it off. <laughs> Over well, That would definitely ruin the money. <laughs> Lovely. Should we have something from Pol Pot? <laughs> <laughs> Kel, you're up. Oh, this is <laughs> Have we got to pick you a new name so you know that we're referring to you? Boy, bitch tits. <laughs> Goujons. I got rid of that. <laughs> <laughs> and we're back on food By, again. by the way, listeners, I wasn't being horribly offensive. That is actually her nickname, bitch tits. <laughs> One of, yes. <laughs> There's also Mercedes. <laughs> oh, well, that, that's a topic of its own. <laughs> Um, this one's from Dave Vincent. Hello, Dave. Um, he says, Family Guy, American Dad, Simpsons, or South Park? South Park. South Park. South Park. Park. Topic done. <laughs> <laughs> I concur. <laughs> Alex, you're the only person who's not spoken up. Yeah, I prefer South Park a bit more, but, you know, they're all just, like, cartoons. With toilet humor. Shut up. Oh, no, fuck off. Cartoons are recording awesome. a podcast. There's nothing but toilet of humour and bullshit. I would kick you in the nets. Respect my authority as host. <laughs> yeah, I do I do kind of quite like Family Guy, but I'm aware that it's not as good. And that's why I was making that face. I was, it was my internal torment. That was <laughs> <laughs> it's just cartoons, but I've got internal torment. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah I, unfortunately, that face yeah. doesn't really scan on an audio medium. <laughs> 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 no, but look, listen, listen really, really hard. Ready? <laughs> I can hear that. Exactly. That. Oh, I see. That's that's the sound of uh, finished consternation, is it? Yes. I'd always wondered. <laughs> Do you know what the sound of acne is? Bubbling minestrone. So, hang on, sorry, what? <laughs> acne sounds like bubbling minestrone. 
Acne sounds like bubbling minestrone. Yeah. If you, if face you pop sounds like bubbling it, minestrone. Your what? mum's face sounds like bubbling minestrone. <laughs> I guess if you get, if you get a concert hall, face is a if wizard. you get a concert hall for <laughs> teenagers... I Sorry? shit on your mum's face with it. If you get a concert hall full of teenagers... And they're all, they're all popping away, it might sound a bit like <laughs> bubbling <laughs> minestrone. But... No, or, if enough. you get the right That's teenagers, disgusting. you might get XLF. <laughs> <laughs> XLF. Yeah. Explain XLF. XLF. Oh. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, right. okay. <laughs> really? I had to explain. I was actually watching Beverly Hills Cop before I came out. I laughed. <laughs> you feel me, bud? <laughs> well done. Right. So, we? South Park. Wicked. Right. On you go, Eddie. <laughs> <laughs> There's no name on this, so I assume it's at the community pot or whatever. Uh, <laughs> no, 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 yeah, that's that's the uh, the hot pot. Sorry, sorry, can I just say, out of all those... Um, TV shows there is only one that's made a successful computer game South Park South, South, Park. South Park Stick of Truth <clears throat> anyway there's only two that's made a successful film oh, do, do, do you know what I, I, I actually I, I might have to <laughs> I might have to stop yeah, but you there successful. I've got a feeling um, Simpsons the Simpsons tap game. it's shit yeah, but I bet it's more I, successful I than uh, South Park. I a lot, a lot of time Shit, playing like, cri- that. I mean, critically successful. I don't know, because the yeah, first true. South Park game on PlayStation 1, that was massive. It was awful, though. It was crap. But it I, was I, quite, I quite enjoyed the one of the 64. That's the same game. Oh, is it? it it's, <laughs> it's not that good. No, it was terrible, but I, d- I did enjoy it. Worse. Stick of Truth is amazing. Oh. Right, shall I? Uh, club, clientele, etiquette. Wait, hang on. How? Why the fuck was Futurama not included there? Because then we'd have a motherfucking discussion. Oh yeah, like that. I'd, I'd be hard. hard Fair, but it wasn't on there. So it wasn't on there. Of Sorry, man. I've got to say Adventure Time. Why is that not on there? Come on, grab your friends. <laughs> Eddie, Eddie, who's this one from? Ed, Ed, Ed. and Eddie. Um, club clientele etiquette. There's no name. No name. Club no. clientele etiquette. Yes. It's what, from or, one of the hosts. Or lack of. What, what's that? Well, I think it's probably going to be what is the correct way to uh, survive a club politely. So rule number one is don't throw up on a bouncer because it will get you kicked out. Yeah. We've, yeah. We know oh. people around this table. Have <laughs> <laughs> so you know you know how you should... Wait, who's never... throwing up on a bouncer? Me. You know... You know, if you're trying to get into a club and... <laughs> you put this in, didn't you? No, I didn't. Oh. Uh, you know, if you're trying to get into a club and the bouncer tells you you're not getting the, in. That Taron's yeah. too drunk, you're not getting in. Yeah. <laughs> the, the, <laughs> the, only, the only one rule I have about going to clubs is just there's no point arguing with no, the bouncer. Never. No. If the bouncer says, no, you're not coming in, it doesn't matter why he said you're not coming in. You're the not chance coming of, in. The chances of you being able to shout at him until you're able to come in is very, very low. It's it's almost non-existent. I've never known anyone to shout at a bouncer and then be let into a club. So I well, was... You know, drink. <laughs> so on Friday, um, I went out with uh, my girlfriend Paula and we went out with some of her work friends for a uh, post-wedding uh, sort of celebration. Wake. Um, <laughs> Post-wedding and... <laughs> rave. <laughs> <laughs> uh, You're going to do, so... do it, right? <laughs> That's right. <laughs> so we went down to London Bridge and we played Pratonk uh, in the Hayes Gallery. <laughs> and, <laughs> and then we went to Belushi's and played beer pong. Um, but going into Belushi's, I don't carry ID with me anymore. Yeah. Because my provisional driving license has expired and so has my passport. So there's and, no and, point. And so has your youth. Yes. It, it, <laughs> exactly. I wear, I wear my ID on my face. <laughs> <laughs> I could literally shave my ID into my beard. But so the, guy, the guy's having a hard time trying to let me in because they scan IDs as we go in. He's, I'm, he's just oh, like, we just okay. want to know who you are. Okay. I was yeah, just yeah. like, oh, we Wicked. Well, I've got I've got my bank cards. Like, that tells me that. He's like, oh, where's your picture? I was just like, I don't think I've got anything with my picture on. I eventually, I found my uh, work ID, and he begrudgingly let me in with my work ID. Cool he said, of him. He said, yeah, no. He said, exactly. That was cool of him. Yeah. So uh, <laughs> the guy turns around to scan mine and Paula's IDs, yeah. and Paula's just swearing at him behind his back. <laughs> oh, <for God's> <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> and I'm just like, hmm. <laughs> We're already on thin eyes. <laughs> Glad you didn't turn around and see. Oh. But yeah, that's not that's not good uh, club uh, club etiquette. 
swearing at the bouncer. Throwing up on the bouncer, also bad club etiquette. Although to be, even though that little trespass <laughs> has happened, we are usually quite good in clubs. Um... Uh, we've met people in clubs and they've come back to our houses. I, I'm i in a relationship currently because we met random people in a fucking rave and mm-hmm. they came back to our house. Yeah. Because we but, seem to be rave, nice rave, people that rave. aren't hitting on everyone, aren't being a dickhead and aren't yeah, but that's because mashed when we, out of our faces. That's because our group of friends have never been very good at going out on the pool. We, we've just basically, <laughs> we, 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 we've basically it. never done it. We've had no practice. When we when we go out clubbing, no interest we, in it. Well, no, yes, yeah. it's, it's bullshit. Well, it's, why treat a club night where you want to go and enjoy the music and dance like a meat market? But that's the thing. Lots of people go out clubbing because it's fun. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> and that's why Kel's an enjoyable person to have in the group. But that's the thing. Lots of people go to clubs and they're not interested in necessarily who's on playing as the DJ or who what sort of music is playing at all. They're just out to get on the lash and meet girls and or but or hook those up are two things that don't go together very well <laughs> what getting really 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 drunk and then trying to have sex with people ah true but you need to be in the place where the girls are really really drunk to then try and hit on them yeah that's then, so then you're both rapey. really drunk that's unbelievable then, you don't have to no, get really no. drunk that's well, no, you so know, yeah, but that's even even worse, kind of, because then you're just taking advantage of somebody's inebriation. Exactly, you know? <laughs> it's really rapey. It's a bit weird. It counts out there going. Yeah, <laughs> I don't understand what's happening. In this right now. Kel, Kel's over there sitting, sitting over there, just thinking, if I if if I didn't get drunk, I'd never have sex. <laughs> Let the barriers down enough. <laughs> The best, the best piece of club etiquette I ever knew was a, a guy who I used to live with in halls. He was, uh, he'd go out to the club every night, and as far as I could tell, he'd go up to every girl he saw, and he'd d- like two second conversation. Da, 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 do you want to come back with me? And he would go up to every girl You've in got the club. You gotta get your hundred slaps. Yeah, exactly. You've got to get your so slaps. he came home with a girl every fucking night. <laughs> it works. <laughs> and so yeah, like it's not for me, but it clearly works. Perseverance. <laughs> yeah. I, 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 I despair. I don't know. It's just I can't. I can't get my head around it. And see that it's just. I, yeah. Sorry, I'm, <laughs> I'm completely with you. Sorry. Because and it's like. The person clearly doesn't matter, apart from the fact that they said yes. And that's just... Yeah, but but hook, for, uh, hooking up for a lot of people doesn't need to be. No, fair enough. So anyway, the the major thing of club etiquette that I know of is one person brings a bag. So that you can shove all your coats mm-hmm. in there. Yep. yep. And put it in the cloakroom for just £5 instead of 18 I was just about to say, from my experience, club etiquette would be, if I say I'm going to go chuck my jacket in the cloakroom... Don't everyone dump their coats on me and then sod off and have oh, a no, great night. Oh, no, mean. See, that's etiquette to me is if you want, like, at least some of you stay with me. It, it's really mean, but also really funny. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> especially, especially after five hours when you come back and they've just come away with the ticket. Yeah. And you're like, okay. Or, 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 or like in Romford, we used to, we had a club called Time and Envy. There's no, there's no clubs in Romford. There oh. is. There is actually, believe it or not, a super club in Romford. Well, it was a super no, club. If it's, if it's time, time or envy. envy. Didn't Time and Envy change to Liquid and Envy? Yeah. yeah. I went to the reopening in night of Liquid and Envy when in it Romford. changed. Yeah. I was there for that. <laughs> 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 oh, sweet little bonding moment there. There's liquid and time and envy everywhere in this country. Yeah, but awful. the thing is, like, um, they, they, they massive building. There was a uh, multiplex cinema that they knocked down into time and envy. But um, the thing is, it was always hit and miss who was DJing and if it was any good and what the mood is. Because in Romford, there's no pattern to paydays. You can't time your club and experience. If you fancy a mellow night, you go mid pay month. Oh, I see what you mean. Yeah. yeah. Um, it was some nights just out of the blue, random, massive. <laughs> next Everyone night, in dead. Essex is paid by 50 pound notes off the back of a lorry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, when someone's warehouse has been left undone, everyone's got money. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I'm happy Paul is not here this time. Don't just scream at me. But, Fuck it. <laughs> yes. But, um, I see any bastards. But the thing is, um, because we were like, DJs and bouncers and friends of them, uh, we tended to jump the queues and just walk in the door. So there was every opportunity we'd walk in the club and go, no, shit, and walk out the door without actually losing any cash at all. Yeah. And just go on something better. And um, so imagine, if you will, like that decision takes about half an hour. Mm. And imagine if you are the jacket slub 
who gets them all and literally he's just sitting in a queue and everyone just walks past goes nah shit let's go yeah, never you, gets to see what he was in there. Never gets to experience the whole thing. Just, oh, okay. Although <laughs> Liquid and MB, fuck that. <laughs> those places, they're fucking shit anyway. I, the I, thing that I remember from well, that night was that uh, there was an awful lot of tunes played by the DJ mm-hmm. where they'd... I, I'd never seen this before. I'd never seen it since. But the DJ was mixing tunes Mm -hmm. however there was a lot of tvs in there with the music video to the tune up on it all synced in so youtubing they're basically djing with youtube no no i i can actually speak for this because i i work there (laughs) (laughs) okay um no basically uh we had a a digital setup with a hard drive with the music videos and it was linked into the dj system so you were actually mixing videos yeah but we were just playing with the audio so they play with the audio, and then the, the, yeah, the video is basically done up. for you. Yeah. Yeah. But the audio has probably been taken from but, the video and, file anyway. And th- unless you're me, in which case you have a tendency to mix up the videos <laughs> <laughs> for comedic effect. And it smells then, like Teen Spirit and, I don't know. Bob the Builder. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the worst one was when I used to spin up Secrets, because I used to just get bored and put technical porn on. <laughs> and the that's, thing is, that's the way to do it. And then that we- is absolutely the way. To, if what? Yes, music <laughs> and porn. Thank yeah. you. That'll it's, do. It's it's sounding Good more night. like a scene from Fight Club here. <laughs> no, this was secrets. And do you know what? They closed secrets and they reopened it. And then they brought the Metal Knight back in, and it was the rival Metal Knight tried to take over. And then they got booted out. And they, like there's Coma and there's Freak. And then Freak tried to come into Coma's territory. Oh, messy. Oh god, the metal scene is such bullshit. I know. <laughs> <laughs> the thing is, Freak came in and the uh, and it failed. And then it went away. And then Coma came back. And uh, they said, why why did it fail? Like everyone was asking because everyone goes to both nights because they were Mondays and Tuesdays. Like they never usually yeah. go inside. So everyone was at the same nights. And I was talking to Ian, like who's um, DJ Def at Bloodstock. Oh fuck yeah! And he was like. Um, I don't know why it fell. We had everything right. Everything was good. And I was like, mate, you know what it was? He said, because you go at secrets, you expect technical porn. <laughs> <laughs> and then, then Ian literally got up, walked on the mic and went, uh, sorry, I stopped the music, but can I ask, did no one go to secrets because we didn't have technical porn? And everyone went, yep. <laughs> <laughs> it's just part of the secrets vibe. It's like, it's like every time you take a piss, I guarantee a random woman will run in the gents and go, I need a kiss. <laughs> <laughs> Like, wait, Do you when want you to meet little Eddie? Yeah. <laughs> I won't tell those stories. But don't, like... don't, don't, don't mind the waving arms and the yodeling. He's, he's good. <laughs> <laughs> it's all back. <laughs> Secrets is the only nightclub I know where you have to queue for the urinal behind the ketamine dealers. Oh, <laughs> right, so they're that. actually in the queue for the for the urinals. Doing mm. deals in the queue, and mm. then literally all they do is they get to the front, they take a piss, and they walk back, stand by the dry, and then join the queue again when they need another piss. That's called a Romford Magic Roundabout. <laughs> 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 um, it's more etiquette. Come on, I can't. Yeah, I, I can't really think of. I mean, when I go to the club, I just sort of walk in and then <laughs> get dance. drunk and be a spaz. Ooh, and, then, <laughs> <laughs> and then and then and then at some point, some girls will come over and touch my hair and tell me I've got really pretty hair. I'll say ecstasy hell of a drug uh, I'll say <laughs> thank you and then just carry on dancing I, I suppose there's a weird thing about um, <clears throat> oh there you are Alex have some more whiskey sir um, there, there's a weird thing about so if you're trying to like if you're, if you're doing the, the rookie mistake of actually trying to have a conversation in a club night like it's difficult yeah, don't, but don't do that but there's the thing like if you block up one ear and talk into that ear like you can hear people really clearly because it just kind of drowns out all the other frequencies and you can just hear the voice, like the voice of whoever's talking to you, mm. like almost perfectly. And like try and have a conversation. Every, like I'll, I'll be talking to someone, and there's, there's kind of most people, like you put, you sort of stop, hold your fingers, like, oh, one second, one second, and then kind of put a hand behind the head and sort of put your thumb in their ear and then start talking. Like most people are just quite happy with this because usually at clubs people are happy to see where things go, and then some of them react, like, oh! Oh, that's a, yeah, that's a cool trick. And then, you know, we carry on having a shouted conversation. But then, like, there's an etiquette thing there because some people just get really weirded out by it. Which well, is yeah, fair you're, enough you're because I'm jamming person. my thumb in there. Yeah. <laughs> no, I see what you're doing wrong. You've got to suck your thumb, first of all. Make it nice and wet. <laughs> and then, then twist it in their ear and they get they get a face that makes uh, it look like somebody's trying to change the channel. It's brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> so what you're saying is he's not making it sensual enough. <laughs> exactly. What about not leaving a club without your friends? 
Yeah, but we we, we, we had to drill that into you. <laughs> <laughs> I met this really nice guy. He's twelve. <laughs> <laughs> so, Kel, Kel, when we used to go out, Kel had a bad habit of going home. Now, there's nothing wrong with necessarily going home, but going home and not telling your friends that you're going home, that's that's annoying. And because sometimes I wouldn't even make it home. Yeah. And that and that was that was the thing. So on the way to London on the train, Kel had a mantra that she had to say all the way up to London. Which was like, <laughs> I will not leave the club. <laughs> it was like you can go over, you can dis- you can disappear, you can go find your own nooks and crannies around the club. You talk to whoever you like. It doesn't oh. matter as long as you're in the last room with the last song. Because by that point, most people have gone home, so we'll be able to see you. So that's yeah. fine. <laughs> so as long as you don't leave the club, <laughs> it's fine. Well, this is the thing. As soon as Kel walks into a club, we lose her. Like, she's a wanderer. She'll just go. Mm. But we've all got kind of used to that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's also just... led to a couple of really scary moments. There, there, was, there was the fucking brilliant moment where I we went, to, where we went to fire, I think. And we hadn't seen Kel for a while. And we found her as we were walking out. She's arm in arm with a guy who's going, yeah. Has anybody got some crystal man? <laughs> it, was, uh. it, was see- it was seeing her face when she realised that she was arm in arm with him because she thought she was holding my arm. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Actually, that, that brings me back to another story, the most scary moment of my entire life. This is club etiquette. Never pass out whilst having a pee on a toilet when you're a girl. <laughs> <laughs> oh. That wasn't me. No, it no, wasn't that was you. <laughs> ten, point, ten points to Kel. Yay! She looked really scared. That was a story me. about her then. That was, no, this that is was a story a, about I my I just saw story. her replay her life going, <laughs> <laughs> not me. <laughs> this is a story about my beloved Rita. So this is um, basically, we were in Cable in London, one of the best clubs we've ever been to in our lives. It's oh, shut now. Cable. Respect uh, to Cable. Fuck TFL. Che- yeah, let's, let's have cheers. a quick cheers. Cable, cheers. Cable. Cheers, cable. cheers, cheers to Cable. Cemented so many friendships in our lives. Mm. Bringing new people in. Um, yeah, so we were having a massive fucking night. That was the night where the fucking dub effect, um, dub physics was played. Oh, Marker was, was played five night. times. Yeah. <laughs> um, fucking great night. <laughs> um, and we were all getting ready again to leave the pl- the club and all of a sudden we realized Rita's not with us. Yeah, cuz the cuz the cuz downstairs had just reopened for uh yeah, the Jaded. lagged for Jaded. Jaded. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> um, which was the morning after club which you had to p- repay for entry to go and really? do this morning after. Yeah, no, yeah, it was they, a separate they, club they, night. they closed one cuz cable didn't used to be cable was one club but then they then they reopened it as sort of two clubs and sometimes they had some rooms in other rooms and they had two right, doors yeah, out onto the street but yeah. anyway so i sent kimmy he- and heather, you heather. oh kimmy and heather to go and check the toilets and all the places that a bloke can't go to try and find out no 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 she's not there right well she must be outside that led to the two hours of absolute fear like my girlfriend's been taken away she's been raped she's been left in the corner somewhere she's I, I went to, up, no, 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 what the fuck is going on i'm really scared <laughs> i went up to the tube station it was two because, hours man because the the tube station hadn't opened yet so everyone's walked up to the tube station from cable who's yeah, left just hanging out and they're all just hanging out their asses looking upset and uh, and all with their hoodies on and there's me because I, I i was feeling pretty good that night so i've wandered up and i've got my phone with the torch yeah. <laughs> and i'm waking everyone up to see if they're rita outside the tube station. <laughs> uh, eventually i did take a walk up there because i think i think it was you that was with me mm-hmm. kel um, she she just basically wanted to make me move so I wasn't so scared and sitting on the corner like worried about her. Uh, walked up there and on the way walking back we get a phone call from Daz saying like no no we we found her like she's just been passed out in the toilets for two hours. <laughs> like, brilliant! I was and she just walked out like you're right. I was gonna say how she's, she's lost her cloakroom ticket. She didn't just walk out. She came to the door oh, and we yeah. waved at her. And, and then she, she had to go back in for a toe. <laughs> and meanwhile, another club night has started. So the cloakroom has filled with coats. Oh, no. <laughs> so it's just like, it was ridiculous. But I was, I was, that's that was the, the scariest moment of my life. That's pretty, that's pretty big club etiquette. 
don't don't pass don't out. pass out in the toilets. Basically, just don't pass out at clubs. Yeah, yeah. I don't but, think you should talk about Cuetico because that's a whole different minefield. <laughs> at clubs, I've D- never D- had an different issue. topic entirely. Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, as, as far as post club etiquette et- goes, uh, if you've been out for a night out and your mates know you have, don't then call one of your mates and tell them you don't know where you are. <laughs> that one might have been me. <laughs> Tom oh. was so angry. <laughs> that, that I was definitely you, <laughs> and it was a prank. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> she she left a voicemail for me, sounding uber scared, like petrified for her life, saying, "I don't know where I am. I don't know do. I don't. I don't have no idea where I am. I don't know how I'm gonna." Open. And then left it and wouldn't answer her phone because she was passed out because she. I had just had a club night and she was knackered. Man, we were in the field. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> so we, you we, were we still got... fucking <laughs> fucked as fuck, basically. <laughs> we, we were still pretty excited and we, we had to take care for a walk I in the field. I was not happy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <God. Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> I was not happy. Talk, talking to club etiquette on that same night, also, Rita related, don't, as you walk out the club, fall over <laughs> and completely cripple yourself. She does that at all club nights, like... It's normally... It's, it's, it's interesting. It's normally not Rita's fault. However, she is one of the biggest liabilities. Or yeah, was. No, she'll always get injured. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, an interesting uh, sort of take, a uh, spin on it then, is um, fetish club etiquette. <laughs> Bring your own loop. Because don't that's... come on the pretties. Because <laughs> <laughs> that, that was a bit... I've, I've, been to, I've been to one fetish night in, in my life, and I went to Torch Garden. It's not a real fish. No, no well, I mean, <laughs> at, 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 at the point, a loaded magazine photograph shoot. <laughs> at the point where I you went, might as it well was be a cover girl of Bizarre. Yeah. yeah. At the point when when I went, I was getting a lot of flack for um, being effectively Fifty Shades of Grey tourism, um, and so there weren't a lot of like proper fetishists there and what. But I first off. I should point out, in a club where most people turn up wearing black latex, I turned up wearing white linen. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking styled it right out. Yeah, but that's, that's probably more fetish than, than them. Because, it's you know, niche, you're, mate. You're like this, you're Jesus fancy oh, is a real niche market. <laughs> Do you know, uh, so, someone, someone sort of called me on it and said, like, well, what's, what's the white linen all about? And it's just like, oh, do you know, I'm just, I'm just into sort of English colonialism. <laughs> it really gets me off. Yeah. <laughs> um, I, I mean, if I, if, if I had my pith helmet with me, I'd be walking around with a hard on constantly. <laughs> uh, <laughs> what do you do with the Daisy Lamp while you're in the club? <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, I mean, there's like there, there's a lot of unspoken etiquette there, and I I didn't I, I didn't know where the lines uh, drawn. I, I didn't I didn't cross any, but like there was because like when I was so for my partner, uh, who, who I went with, um, I was, I, I was, I was doing part of their, like their get up. I was, I was get, uh, putting them in a, in a rope corset. Mm. Um, and we decided to do it at the club. And, um, when, so like, there wasn't, <laughs> cause you don't want to get the tube just in nothing but rope. <laughs> <laughs> rope, rope and very sheer lingerie. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> yeah. So. Like we couldn't find, there wasn't a changing room, which was like, I sort of expected that, that there might be, but uh, idiot I am. Um, so we decided to do it in the dungeon area, and mm. like sort of, I'm, I'm there sort of tying up this this rope corset, and uh, I, I slowly become sort of aware that sitting on a chair a few meters away from us is a dude who's completely naked, apart from he's got a little towel over his lap, and he's looking at me uh, tie up my partner and just beating off. And that that's apparently fine. No one said a damn thing about that. So I don't I don't know where the etiquette begins and ends there. I think maybe don't touch the performers. That that Yeah, I'll ask before you touch might be a good 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 starter. Um, and then and then of course there's the uh, there's there's the dark room. Which I don't know, all bets are off in the dark room. <laughs> where everything feels like it's covered in slime. Yeah, yes, there's lovely. Lots <sighs> lots of flesh, lots of wet flesh. But yeah, I, that, that that was um, I don't know. That was interesting. Got to talk, so, uh, see some live uh, like bondage suspension art, mm-hmm. which was that was pretty cool. Uh, a couple you of, love your knots. I do love my knots. I mean, that that that's the thing. Like I, th- that that's basically why I went there. It's just like, well, I really like doing knots. Oh well, if you like doing knots, should we do this? 
all right, I can do pretty knots now as well. Yay! <laughs> um, Utilitarian fetishism. Yeah. <laughs> Colonialism. Colonial. Utilitarian Colonial all the way. Utilitarian. Yeah. <laughs> all the way <laughs> down, <laughs> motherfucker. Anyway, uh, so I, yeah, there, there was that. I, um, yeah, Andy, you've got something from uh, Paul Potts. I do. Uh, this is from uh, Penguin Hater. Hello, uh, Heather. Love you put in. <laughs> If you could explore the oh, moon... Don't, don't say it like this. She doesn't listen. <laughs> <laughs> if, you you, ex- <laughs> if you could explore the moon for a day or the very bottom of the ocean, which would you choose? Ocean. 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 Moon. We've, we've been to the moon. moon. We've ocean. been to the moon. There's fuck all there. Yeah, but there's oh, not... But there's there's not, a moon there. There's not, there's not a lot of stuff at the bottom of the ocean. We've only been there once. Oh, no, those fucking like, lighty-uppy mm. anglefish are pretty cool. Yeah, yeah but they're not there's... the bottom. You're not the bottom. Huh? They're not the bottom. You see, you, see, you see the anglefish on the way down. At the bottom, there's really not a lot. Of, there is some stuff there. Could they I, saw one fish. Could I make my Could <laughs> wow. I make my wow. pitch for the bottom of the ocean? Please? Yeah, please. Um, <coughs> Cthulhu. <coughs> <laughs> Between the ancient gods, we have dropped so much shit in the, in our lifespan. It must be like a parking lot at a car boot sale down there. All goodies for us yeah. to pick up. It's, it's largely nothing. There is, <laughs> there, is, there is something really interesting down there. There's a sea. There, there's another, like, sea. Like there's a, a, tide. River, there, a river through there, the sea, there isn't there? Some, there's, yeah. Under, yeah, like, there's under there's, tide. There's actually an ocean going the opposite No, no, it's, 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 it's slightly different. There, there, there are areas where um, the, uh, the water is even more densely salinated. Mm. And because it's got a different density, it just looks like the a surface shore. of yeah, a yeah. Certain surface another of, of, sea, of another yeah. water, which that you know, and uh, there's lots of pretty cool stuff down there. Uh. But on the moon, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> what are you guys up to? Tom just licked my tongue. <laughs> <laughs> she was trying to lick me, so I tried to think of the worst thing I could do to her, which was stick my tongue out. That exact point. <laughs> as, as, far, as far as the moon goes, exploring the moon, um, you can always look up and just see the Earth. That would be. I mean that's. Oh, I, no. I, I don't think I'd ever get bored of that. As much as as much as under the water, floating, lovely, low gravity. I, I'm with you, mate. I, I want to experience moon buggy, different... fucking taking some air off of the edge of a crater. Yeah. Okay. I, 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 yeah. Okay. I'm absorbing on the moon. Absorbing. Mega absorbing on the moon. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna go pedestrian and say I want to play golf on the moon. Golf on the you <laughs> like in the red dwarf. <laughs> I will see your gravity issue of low gravity and put you high pressure, which is the equivalent of high gravity. And as we all know, that's what makes su- Saiyans super Saiyans. Oh god! However, dude. now, now <laughs> so I come to think of it, fuck you, Ocean. You are pointing to the wrong person. <laughs> Saiyans, Super Saiyans. Okay, <laughs> Alex. Alex is grimacing at the microphone you, again. <laughs> you can't use a pogo stick at twenty thousand leagues. Yes, dude. <laughs> got you right. Oh, pogo sticks would be awesome. Can you imagine, boy? The kangaroo boots. I want some kangaroo boots. Can we get some kangaroo boots, please? Kangaroo boots on the moon. Oh, moon boots Andy's, on the moon. I've yeah. Do you want to borrow my kangaroo boots? Andy's the man who's got kangaroo. <laughs> I do not know he's got kangaroo. She boots. does. She's worn them. There's pictures. Uh, <laughs> <fuck. laughs> Darling, is your brain that destroyed? Just, I've been working really hard recently. <laughs> Awesome. Uh, yeah, I, I, I think. I, oh, just I, I, um, I, I, I would say just life. There is life at the bottom of the ocean, which is pretty cool. But I also like the idea of just being an absolute desolation. Don't rest. But be, <laughs> <laughs> I will not. I've been before. I don't really want to go back. It apart was from shit. Some <laughs> shit hot barbecue. They um, did. They did actually oh, make yeah. a documentary of someone who went to Essex. It was called Escape from New York. <laughs> um, I, lost tonight, I think I think the moon won that one. Why are you looking at me? She said the ocean as well. I know she did, but uh, you made the case for it. She's yeah. the one who she has did. tentacles on a bedroom wall. Like, there's all, obviously going to be that one. Me and my octopus so I want to be in water. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, you could just try and do so much cool shit on the moon, couldn't you? Like, it's like, I wonder what happens if I take a circular saw okay. to a bit of woods. Hang on a second. Just... <laughs> 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 
just before we finish this topic, last night I was looking through Netflix and there is a uh, a thing in the documentaries area yeah. uh, called Aliens on the Moon. And it's all photos. Uh, and it's, it's a reasonably recent documentary because they were talking about stuff from like 2010, 2011. Yeah. Um, photos and stuff from uh, the, the moon landings and the Mars landings and things that look like structures yeah. and stuff like okay. that. And it's all utter nonsense gibberish. Of course. Um, but uh, but it, it's, it's, it, they were talking about, well... This this tiny speckly low res image clearly shows that there is a turret here, and next to it there is a cooling tower for the moon base of the aliens. And here over here, there's another structure that clearly looks like an Arctic base, and it's just oh fuck off, they're rocks. <laughs> yeah, yeah I'd, I'd, that'd be brilliant, wouldn't it? Like if you went exploring the moon, you could go to all these areas and just sort of like. I don't know, update on Twitter or something. It's just a, uh, I went to the pyramids, there was nothing there. Yeah. Uh, I went to the face, wasn't a face. I went to the to the to the moon base. Just, no. No. Yeah. <laughs> I, I just see a series of selfies of you just looking more and more pissed off. So like the first one's like in front of an open chasm going at the pyramid. <laughs> and then by the end of it you're like the moon. Oh <laughs> that'd be the perfect place to really kickstart my monumental flip off dot com oh, idea. Yeah. <laughs> um yeah, I, I think and you wouldn't you wouldn't see me looking pissed off if I was on the moon because I'd be on the motherfucking moon, Eddie. I would be the happiest little camper in the world. I'd I'd rather take a piss on the moon. Yeah, I, yeah. I um, realize I realize actually, I realize no. I can't open my spacesuit, but I'm sure it's got an ejector thing for my colostomy no, no, bag. No, 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 no. Mate, mate, you have missed the obvious here. Poo on the moon. Poo on poo on the moon. Yeah, completely. It would it would well, last would you forever. Stand up or sit down My to God, work? you could throw it. <laughs> so far. God, you could throw your poo so far. Oh, you could take a series of photos and just call the album Moon Monkey. Would you at least have the decency <laughs> to do this on the dark side? I'm always on the dark side, man. <laughs> moon Olympics, though. I'm moon, on the grey side. Olympics would be good. Oh, moon Olympics would be great. Yeah, you can't do can't do any of this shit underwater. Nah. Deep underwater. Nah, yeah, deep, but deep, we could play water deep, polo. I'll, I'll give it a shot. <laughs> over crawling across the sand because the gravity of the one thing I would like Super to see. Super Saiyan, how are you not getting this? <laughs> at the at the bottom of the ocean, I'd love to be there when like the giant herds of crabs pitch up. Okay, oh, I see your cool. I see you're taking a shit on the moon, and I raise you standing on the bottom of the sea, surrounded by crabs, going. <laughs> 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 Oh, do you, oh, do you know what would be quite cool though? There's, there's, all, there's these um, underwater vents, aren't there? There's all the vents, mm, volcanic, so, yeah, self yeah. vents, and um, they always like life. Well, any time they pop up, life always sort of manages to pop up around them. You, life you get, like, finds a way. Yeah, you yeah. get you get tube worms and so <laughs> crap. And they all like you know the microbes feed off the uh, the the minerals yeah, coming soft, out, yeah, and, and then they everything just... eats the uh, eat, eats the microbes, and, and you get then, like bingo dino DNA. Well. <laughs> Um, <laughs> <laughs> absolutely um, but you also get like prawns you can get some pretty big prawns down there so what it'd be quite fun just to with... barbecue yeah 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 so like with, <laughs> under, with, under the hot shoot of water <laughs> <laughs> with, with, with your little with, with your little um, swim, li, little submersible thing you just sort of grab one go up put it in the hot vent and then eat it when you get back to the surface to see what that tastes like that would be like a bowl of salt by the time you get to the surface. <laughs> Incinerated by near... Like, those vents are insanely and, hard. And sulphur that smells like rotten eggs. So it would be beautiful, mate. <laughs> oh, it'd be piquant. <laughs> <laughs> it would be a burger van in Essex. I'm going to keep dropping these until Paula fucking screams at me. <laughs> Lovely. I believe um, Alex has got something from I the do, hot pots. I do, I do indeed. Yes. Um, right. This is from Anonymous, and it kind of, the pen was running out, so it kind of looks like whoever was writing this pretty much um, died towards the end. Hey, well, no, you showed me a different topic. In the topic. castle of, uh, Yeah, I know, that one was a bit kind of, it just leads to like long no, 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 you read it's, the it's, topics it's, that come it's, out. It's already gone. Oh, it's, it's, you, your eyes weren't watchful enough. He's, he's is it back in the pot? Yes, he Yeah, he's, he's, he's oh, scribbled it up, he put it back in the pot. You're such a slag. He has, it, it, he has, it had Latin he words, it was about philosophy. Was he, like, he, he has broken the rules. He's solid air etiquette. <laughs> Alright, well, I can, I can try and fish it out. Oh, no, 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 no,
It's, it's not going to be as yeah. funny as this one. So. Fine. The Latin he's referring to is, is a, a priori, which is like... Yeah, I know. Then we'd have to explain the difference between a priori and a posteriori to our listeners, and then, you know... Not at all! Uh, you, Doesn't we, matter. Read, read the, the, the counterfeit. It's, it's <laughs> kettles of worms and cans of fish that I just don't want to open. Fine. <laughs> What have you got for us, Alex? I really want to watch The Life of Brian right now. Right, this is from Anonymous, dying, because it depends. Um, the difference between taboo in the UK and US, i.e. sex or violence. Also, which swear words are acceptable or not? Oh, that, that's going to be evil writing out. Okay, well, um, taboo is a porn line in America, which is all about incest. I'm uh, not sure that's what they're referring to. But, um, the, the US Look. certainly, um, for them, a nipple is ruder than killing somebody by shooting them in the face. As in, you can, you can show that to a minor, but you can't show them a human nipple. Mm. Yeah, that, that's pretty... Surely the majority of them get shown human nipples for the first year pretty regularly. Well, yeah. They're not you allowed know, up, to see it. They have to be under a blanket. <laughs> oh. <laughs> up until the usual age of about 11 or 12. So, uh, it, um, is, <laughs> so is puberty just like that scene in The Matrix where it's like, why do my eyes hurt? You've never used them. <laughs> <laughs> pretty much. That, that's why it's a confused, confused country. Um, I reckon... I'd be confused. I reckon that uh, taboo in America is very varied depending on where you are. Whereas yes. Whereas in the UK, ding, ding. I seem to think that taboo is taboo wherever you go. It's, it's, it's a lot more... It's a small area, basically. Well, it is a smaller area, but it's but, but, e but even throughout different different sort of uh, walks of life and, and, and stuff like that, I, I, I don't know whether this is just me, but I perceive it as, as, as less extreme. But then again, America is bigger, therefore you're going to have bigger extremes. I suppose. I always think in England, taboo is like the last bastion of Victorian morals. Oh, but the Victorians were absolute perverts. Yeah, that's what I mean. They were, they were, they were, they were absolutely, like, like, absolutely they reprehensible They loved breaking their taboos. The and, thing uh, is, it's, they it's had, a noble tradition we carry on to this day. They, yeah, they, were, they were so into breaking their taboos, they created the taboos just to break them. Quite possibly. It was, uh, that had a really fantastic style. system, like, uh, in the Victorian era. It seemed to be, like, anyone could do anything, and people would know about it, and that would be fine until it was made formally public, at which point it would cause the scandal. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. Which, uh, you know, I quite, I quite like that idea. It's like, oh, he's, he's, he's a bit of a pillow biter, that one, I hear. But the second it comes out... Yeah, a like, pillow biter? Yeah, have you not heard that term before? No. P pillow biter. It's, it's for a gay man. Yeah, yeah, he spends, spends a lot of time on his knees with his face close to a pillow and has to bite it to stop the landlady hearing it. Although, you got I, mental although image I, I have as well, yeah, Alex just bent over. <laughs> yeah, I'm although, there. Although I think they're probably <laughs> more likely to use I'm a done. phrase like shit. <laughs> I'm going to go get a little towel and naked. Um, but yeah, I don't know, like, I just, to, to boot, I, just, I mean, only a handgun in this country is a massive taboo. Whereas in the is States, it? it's pretty standard yeah. for most families. It, but I think it's all relative as well, if you think about the sort of the, not classes, but all the different kinds of people in the UK. What you ask us as being taboo is completely different to sort of if you ask... Absolutely. I can't think of anyone sensible. So, <laughs> some imaginary Christians. person... Yeah, Christians. Well, some Christian... Uh, yeah, imaginary people. <laughs> not, not Trisha. She's a whole different kind of Christian. No. Yeah. Anyway, where are you going with this? <laughs> Gone. No, <laughs> no, but it's all relative. So what we class as taboo, someone else might not class as taboo. And likewise yeah. in America, you've got so many different kinds. We, we're quite an open group, if that's the right sort of word. We're quite understanding, accepting of lots of different things and don't seem much as a taboo, really. Well, we share some um, things. Only in our kind of, like, you know, li liberal London bubble, the, the majority of the population is still very, very backward you mean they they read the telegraph yeah. or the daily mail and they vote tory and the, the kind of things that, <laughs> the kind of things that we get up to for them would be the, oh my god i can't believe it. satanists burn them <laughs> <laughs> but because we don't really come into contact with people like this no. very much we we seem to think that this is the norm when in fact it isn't it probably isn't most of the country is like america Pretty fucking up to <laughs> Scared yeah, and fat. Yeah. Stunned. But, well, no, not not as not as scared or fat, but they are um, sort of uh, angry about things that aren't very important. 
Plus also, what's taboo? Like, in America, like, in New York, it's taboo to marry your cousin. Whereas in Alabama, it's practically <laughs> mandatory. And if you think about it, in London, it's rude to marry your cousin, but you've been to <laughs> Norfolk. Unless you're, <laughs> unless you're, unless you're married to your cousin. Family. Like, yes. Oh, I married my cousin. You absolute devil. <laughs> we Se- are how English. Dare you? We are English, after all. <laughs> yeah. Second cousin is legal, but frowned upon. Mm. I remember at school, uh, my friends, or oh, uh, people in the, in the, in the, um, uh, form found out that one kid, uh, his parents clearly owned a chicken. Yeah. A chicken. A chicken. Oh, and a chicken. by, by, you know, logical extrapolation, his parents must be cousins. <laughs> <laughs> I follow the thing. Um, yeah, I don't know. They, they're, I think they're a little more hung up on sex in America. But this, yeah. Um, we're, whereas we're gun violence, whereas However, gun violence is a lesser thing, sex is more of a taboo. Gun violence, not a taboo. Um, because I'm not, I'm not sure that um, is gun violence a taboo, or is it, or is it just? It's not. Awful? It's not. It's not particularly accepted in the UK. I don't all. think it's overly no, accepted in the, in the it, US. Is okay, it? So it more, a lot more common because a lot more people have guns. Blah blah blah. Yeah, but common and taboo are not the same thing. Uh, Something can be very, very common, but still taboo. Yeah. I mean, in certain I parts... I think it's more accepted, rather than... In, cer- in certain parts of America, I, I find it odd that it could be a bit of a taboo to be openly atheist. Oh, that'd be weird. Well, that'd be, you know, that, that'd be just yeah. really strange. And, like, in, in, in some certain parts, even further, it's, it's taboo. Like, why don't, why don't you go to church? You know, why, we didn't see you, missed you at church on Sunday. Yeah. Um, I, I'm, I'm taking this largely off of kind of uh, uh, accounts people have written uh, on on the, on the internet. So you know, I'm going to assume they're true, but it's the internet, so who knows? Yeah, I mean, we, I I say that 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 would be really, really really weird, but then like we live in one of the most atheist places about. There's lots of religions here. However, when pushed, lots of people will say... We'll, we'll vote Jedi. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well put, yeah. <laughs> um, what about swear words, guys? Cunts. cunts. They don't like they cunts over cunts there. They hate cunts so much. They hate cunts. They hate it. Here is a pet name. <laughs> yeah, is, I think, actually, what's worse than cunt is vagina. It just... <laughs> What's <laughs> onomatopoeically? It's not a nice word. I'd rather refer to that part of the female anatomy as a cunt. Well, it, it, it do you think cunt is a prettier bad. word than vagina? Yes. I don't I, know. I, vagina I sounds kind of like a flower. Yeah, it's nice. Mm. It's pretty. Mm. I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't actually like the word cunt for um, uh, a vagina. Anyway, I think that's it, it's it's not it's not the right application cunt is just better used as a ge- general purpose it's a saxon uh, word expertise. that means sheath isn't it so it, it implies that that's where the sword belongs that's where you keep the swords oh really sheath. yes i didn't know I'll, I'll have to look that up D- double check that but that's because he doesn't believe you yeah well no uh, it's just like <laughs> <laughs> it's some interesting information don't just take it at face value especially coming from a finn i've always preferred the the term for kinds of kardashian I think it sounds prettier. Yeah. <laughs> Weren't they in yeah. Star Trek? I thought <laughs> <laughs> no, you're thinking the, of the Kanye. Ka- the they were ka- in the Kanye. The, oh, the card, the yes, well, well done. The Kardashians, very good. <laughs> they're, they're funny noses, giant asses. Yeah. <laughs> Are you talking about the Kardashians or the Kardashians? I don't I know. I think that was the joke. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, I just, I, 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 this is odd. I'm, I Which feel swear I words are most to... acceptable? I don't know. Swear words become acceptable because Bugger. lots of lots of lots of people say, "Well, this is like you old sod." Yeah. Like any swear word that my mum says, I, I, okay. de- I deem as acceptable. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, Does your mum ever say felch? Uh, I can't remember <laughs> my mum saying the word felch. That's mom. not that's not a swear word. It's a verb. I must have felt before. Two felch. She was asking what it meant. One felch is. No, say you can't cunt. Well, you can. (laughs) Lots of people cunt on a daily basis. I've experienced a lot of people doing it today, to be honest. So, um, 
Yeah. Uh, I, was um, it the squirrel or the? Yeah, it was the squirrel, wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Squirrely cunt is eating his nuts there, looking at me plotting. <laughs> uh, I, I I introduced the word queef to Melinda Messenger. Yeah, <laughs> that's that. That's one of my small claims to fame. She was, <laughs> she was, um, yeah, she she was the genie in one of the pantos. Had she not had one until she met you? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what she was. She, she was sick. Is that just she a vagina a wincing person. in terror at the sight of that? She was like, "Wait a minute, have you seen this?" <laughs> Begin take a breath. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Welcome to Queefing <laughs> with Melinda Messenger. <laughs> oh, yeah, I know this is this diff- This is more difficult than I, than I thought it would be because I think we're the wrong people to ask it because we don't really deal with taboos too much. It's not really in our in our wheelhouse. If someone's having having fun and not harming anyone, it, wherever, that, wherever you really... find your joy, as long or, as it's or, not or at least children harming them with <laughs> yeah. um, oh. actual notice of sofas. <laughs> I, I don't know. Pa- pass me Pol Pot. Pass me <laughs> Pol Pot. Oh, Pol Pot, yes. Let, let's have something. Sorry, to pass, it, pass you the pot that's not a pot. We're going to have to sort this out eventually. This is so not a pot. Yeah, it's a bean. Un- under any definition, <laughs> this is not a pot. Andy, it's the lamest I, fucking it's pot, pot ever. I like it. It's, All right, it's a get smelting. Dictator. <laughs> <sighs> oh, smelt oh me that's an idea. Not... Okay, cool. So, what have we got here? Oh, ah, this is this one's been in for a while because we haven't used um, obviously a, a waiter pad. It's a it's waiter pad. It's from Dan. Um, All right, Dan. Marvel movies. Well, I suppose we're getting onto safer territory here. <laughs> oh, I went to see Ant Man recently. I haven't oh, seen oh it yet. fuck, I haven't seen that yet. Uh, pretty good. I I enjoyed it a lot more than I thought it was gonna. Uh, than I can thought I, I was going can to. I ask how good does Michael Douglas look CG young? Is he CG young? He's not. He's an old man, isn't it? No, but there's a my my friend told me there's a scene where they they show a young Michael Douglas and they've CG. Oh, so well. yeah, yeah, right, right. At the beginning of the uh, the movie. Uh, I, I don't know. I didn't I didn't really pay any attention. I was. Just... I thought Michael Douglas was always CG young. Every no, time you see him, that's Catherine Zeta Jones. Uh... You're confusing him. Michael Douglas is the sluggy thing next to her. <laughs> <laughs> he is gradually becoming Jabba the Hutt. I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> and there's Catherine Zeta Jones in her. Ooh, Aki Da. Like, like the Tafty is in the next one. It's like, Iki Tiki Long Cob Bon Cob Bon Hey, you ain't half as cabbage as you got. You know, and you're like, Eh, my dog, God, I saw Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> he actually did the line. <laughs> I can speak every language in the galaxy far, far I, away. I bow down to they your fucking nerd, mate. You're the first person I've ever said that to. Be honoured. <laughs> Do you know what? I think it was that podcast, man. That's what fucking threw me over the edge. Yeah. What watching every single Star Wars film no, back to back? No, it's doing it again after I swore I wouldn't do it the last time, <laughs> and that was all twelve. And that's why I bowed down. You had to do it twice to realise that. <laughs> no, so Marvel movies—they're they're, 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 they're pretty good. The recent one, the the um, Guardians of the Galaxy. Oh, was that a Marvel incredible. movie? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that's that was a Marvel movie. That was. Um, I fell just, asleep. Well, all the all the, the big Marvel movies that have been out, I love the fact that they've done this huge fucking Universe. fifteen year collaboration yeah. of all the movies, all the times, Planned getting it, it out, getting yeah. it all ready, smashing it properly, and and they did it very very well. I felt that as the series went on, it lost some of the comedy, which Guardians of the Galaxy mm. just just well brought back, and that yeah, was that was why point. I loved that's that one. I point. think most out of any of the Marvel movies that I've seen. Well, I think I think I think Ant Man probably does it as well. I, th- I think what it was with the like with the comedy, in it, and that, that's that's part of the, the success of uh, of Marvel is that they kind of embrace the goofiness. Yes, and they play with it and they have fun with it. Whereas um, DC are complete opposites, where they're trying to make everything I'm more gritty every fucking movie. He yeah. must have friends. Mind you, I, I, I say that after fucking Tim Burton and then on oh, doing the Batman films, then went to fucking Batman Forever, where it was just pantomime. Ah, and George I Clooney. To see you. I take this back. It's only recent DC movies, <laughs> <laughs> namely the Batman trilogy. <laughs> but yeah, I, I I I was with you. Like the the movie started getting less funny, and I think it's because they realised people were really digging. Like Thor. 
Thor was is, it, like at points it's a Thor. really funny move like the point I like where, Thor the, the moment where he walks into the, the pet shop and just goes I'll need your finest horse <laughs> um we don't sell horses we got a dog how big is it or you know whatever yeah. you know that that's that's fucking brilliant and I think they realised that people were kind of quite liking that um but they they kind of try to over egg it in some of the later ones and it seemed to reset a bit with um with Guardians of the Galaxy because that is a well funny movie. Uh, I mean, it is hard to be hard to be too straight when one of the main characters is a uh, genetically modified raccoon. Absolutely, <laughs> and the other one just doesn't get um, figurative language, language yes. or, or or metaphors or sarcasm. <laughs> Fucking brilliant! I love. Oh, what's his name? It's not Vlad the Destroyer. Um, doesn't matter. Yes, but him. Uh, yeah, him. That one. He's uh, he's my favourite character. <laughs> it's just like. So someone says something and uh, it's, uh, it's uh, sarcasm goes right over his head and he goes, nothing goes over my head. I, I am too quick. I would catch it. <laughs> Can we just say a few um, Marvel movies? Because I don't think I've actually seen Iron any. Man, Iron have. Man 2, Captain America, The First Avenger, Thor, uh, Avengers. Iron Man 3. Spider-Man. No, 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 that's not, not, that's not Marvel. It's that Sony is Marvel. Technically, but it's Marvel It's not universe. Disney Marvel, but it is Marvel. Uh, Fantastic Four, X Men, Deadpool, Wolverine. Uh, oh, X Men! Okay, I'm on it. <laughs> but that so it, we found your favourite Marvel movie, the that, one you've seen. <laughs> that's not part of the universe Taz is describing. But Taz, um, standard comic tactics is make it light and friendly to invite the reader in, then get dark. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and they and they, they've they, done that. They, Iron they, Man they, was very user friendly. It went crossed into the main. It was the first film that crossed into the mainstreams. And Robert Downey Jr. was not popular when that was made. That was like just after Kiss Kiss Bang Bang. Oh, he, he was. He was, he was just kind of. He, cause Re, he, that was his resurgence. Kiss Kiss yeah. Bang Bang blew him up as an actor again, and then Iron Man blew him up as a superstar. But like yeah. they they've roped you in. But the thing is, if you look at Thor, and you look at Thor Dark World. It got dark. You look at Captain America and then Winter Soldier, it got dark. You look at Avengers, Age of Ultron, it got dark. Yeah. So they, they, they give you the big budget kid tie in, sell the toys. Then they get fucking arty with it. Cause the thing is they're using base material. They're using the, the great artists and the great strip writers of like the comics. They've actually, yeah, yeah. they've actually got the comic book writers coming in to consult on the scripts. So, the, the fact they got Edgar Wright in to write uh, Ant Man. Well, no, I, they got him in to direct originally, and then they fell out. But no, he, no, he did. He did the writing for it as well. I, I thought he did a pass at the script. I thought he took a script and developed it for his eye, and then I, I, yeah, and then about. they had a falling out, and they got some more writers in. But then he came. I back I would to have the really and... liked Edgar Wright to see that through. I really would. no, he, he did. He he, he, yeah, he came back. Did to he it. direct? Yeah, uh, oh. I can't remember if he directed. I um, was really hoping he was going to direct. So I wanted that Scott Pilgrim look to it for Ant Man. Because, do you know why... Did, yeah, didn't need cool. it, mate. Didn't need it. But do you know why Disney Marvel is so fucking good? Because they took Iron Man. Yeah? Mm-hmm. Iron Man was not big. Nor was Thor. Nor was... Thor and, was minute. The best thing but, Thor ever did was when Deadpool nicked his talents. <laughs> like, yeah. that, that, that's the best thing that Thor ever did. Like, Guardians of the Galaxy, no one gave a fuck about Rocket Raccoon like six years ago. I, I have a collected book from marvel which is all the stuff from guardians of the galaxy before the film happened it's not very fat and the no. stories have barely anything to do with the characters yeah. like it's ridiculous but they, they did something really clever there because they they use guardians of the galaxy to tie <sighs> the, the main films into like the extended universal thanos. yeah it's, yeah it's thanos, thanos. And, and like the, the big shit going on in the in the marvel yeah. universe which I thought was really clever, and they did it fucking spectacularly. It was pretty good. Um, uh, in general, like Marvel, Disney tend to make the better movies, but of all the Marvel movies, I still, I for my money, the best one is probably still X Men: Days of Future Past. Mm -hmm. That film is incredible. We're talking comic book films. I did, I did like that one. That was, uh, uh, oh, it was, it was it, the moment at the end. I've, I've uh, yet to see this film. I was so, so close to crying. It was just, it, it was so worth it. Incredible. It is an amazing film and it's gritty and you don't get that in comic book films much. Mm. One of the problems is that they're trying to interject gritty into the Fantastic Four. And the Fantastic uh, Four lol. is as deep as a puddle. Like, let's face it, we got magic superpowers, we run around enjoying ourselves. 
But the thing is, they're trying to go, no, it's the four. It's dark. It's good. Fuck you. It's a bloke in an iron suit and a green hoodie. Four. Fantastic Four had some good stories. They but... did, but I never got into them that big. I kind of like is him it, a little bit. Isn't it Chris Evans was the Flaming the Human Torch? Torch. Mm-hmm. Mm. And then he was also... Captain America. And he was also one of the guys from Losers. Was that a yes. Marvel? Yeah. Uh, no, that's no. DC. Oh, is that DC? Yeah. Is he the actor that's played the most comic book people? Uh, well, one Quite could argue possibly. Ryan Reynolds. Ryan Reynolds. Who's no, Ryan no, Reynolds he's, 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 he's Green only Lantern. Done, he's only done Green Lantern. Green Lantern, Lantern and Deadpool. Uh Wolver- oh, and he Wolverine. Was, he, he was in Wolverine. And he was. He yeah. was the guy who didn't have a mouth at the end. He was also sword. King. Yeah, that Blade. was that. That was the That was Deadpool, though. Oh, was it? That was essentially Deadpool. Yeah, I, but Deadpool and Deadpool, Deadpool two completely different Deadpool. So they are like he played Wade Wilson, not really Deadpool. Um, then you got Deadpool. Then you got um, Green Lantern. Then you got Hannibal King in Blade Trinity. Oh fuck! And that is Marvel. I'm not even thinking Blade being part of Marvel Universe. Yeah. That's because they sold the rights to Wesley Snipes. Yeah. But, um, but yeah, so like that's five, four, Ooh. five. Well, well maybe, maybe he's got the, the crown. Because Chris Evans he loses. He played his geek season. card again. <laughs> <laughs> I actually have made a geek card. <laughs> you showed it to me about five minutes ago. <laughs> that, I was letting Taz have his little turn before I go, right now it's my turn. <laughs> You know, it'll never get me laid, but it gives me props. Are are, are you guys aware of, like, the bullshit going on between um, uh, Marvel Disney and uh, Warner Brothers? Uh, I am not. Please enlighten me. Because Warner Brothers have got... um, They've got X-Men and Fantastic Four. Oh, so yeah. And they they won't let go of them. No, Sony's got... Sony's got them. No, Sony's got Spider Man. Has it? Oh, I've got them. Back but to they're front. they're they're okay with Sony. Like, <laughs> yeah, that's because so they've done a deal. Yeah, like they're they, they, you know they're they're friends. Sorry to interject, but do you know what the deal is? No, what is it? The deal is you let us use our figurehead character in one in our films, and we'll do such a good job on it that you can then sell Spider Man films again because the last lot sucked. That's the deal. They literally, the only thing, like, the only money from the Avengers films that spider Man's going to be in is all going to go to Marvel. And then they're going to launch Spider-Man in such a way, then give it back. And that's what they're giving is they're making Fair Spider-Man. Enough. After Tobey Maguire and Sam Raimi fucked it with the whole emo disco Saturday yeah, yeah, Night yeah, Spidey. Yeah, yeah, That was not a good and then we've got... I like that phrase, Saturday Night Spidey. Yeah, it's <laughs> so <laughs> crazy. But like, and then the new ones are literally like Fifty Shades of Spider. So like, <laughs> I'm gonna keep dropping. No, this. they were. It's I quite... so teenage angst. It no, it's not. So... I, I gave up with no, Spider Man films actually, a long time I, ago. I, I, There's I been a like lot of them. Of them. Uh, no, do you know it's, what? It's I, Andrew Garfield nailed Peter Parker and Spider Man. I didn't like him. He, oh no, he, he does. He does the the quipping and just like the he the does Spider-Man it. But the thing is, so well, he wasn't given a good script ever. The, be, the, the best, the best Spider Man film they have ever made is the first third of the first one with Tobey Maguire, because when they had him in school as the nervous wise ass, yeah, yeah, and then finding his webbing powers, like in the whole, what are you doing in there? Oh, I don't agree with that either because it should be mechanical. Or yes. oh, or amazing, you know, it's the argument. But like, but you get what I mean. <laughs> there's, there's no argument there. <laughs> I know. Oh, this is getting really nerdy. <laughs> <laughs> I put it to you that Doc Ock should not have inflicted the mind of Peter Parker. Sorry, Ultimate um, Universe can fuck right. Anyway, to bring it back to the beat <laughs> yeah, between so, Disney, yeah. Marvel, and and and, uh, and Warner Brothers, like. Disney Marvel want those properties back. They really, really want them back, especially X Men, because oh my god, if there's anything missing from the Avengers movies, it's the X Men. Actually, they are oh, kind of there. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. there's yeah. some chromosomes. No no, 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 I know, I know what you're going to talk about, Scarlet Witch and Quicksilver. Yeah, but oh, let's, come on, go, let's, dude. let's, let's not. Let's it's not. It's Magneto's kids. But oh, uh, yes, they are. Oh, do, do you know the reason um, uh, Quicksilver was in uh, Days of Future Past? It's because they caught wind that Quicksilver was yeah, going to be and they in, jammed him in. The, yeah, and it, uh, that and character the, was going to be Colossus. Yeah. Uh, nah, fuck it. We'll do Quicksilver. And they did it better. The Quicksilver well. in Days of Future Past is the amazing Quicksilver. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. It is amazing. Especially when he runs around and he just starts fucking with people. Yes. 
Like, yeah, those scenes are so much better than Agent. So okay, yeah. Sorry, I'll I'll, I'll finish it off quite quickly. Like, I'm 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 loving the beef, and like they want the property so bad. Yeah, Marvel have stopped doing Fantastic Four comics. Yeah, because they don't want to like provide any advertising for for Warner Brothers, and they're hoping just to winkle. Like nickel and dime, they like those properties back into their possession. There, there's actually like give and take. Like they've, they've sorry, they, they've they've got back the Silver Surfer and Galactus by letting them keep Daredevil, and then they immediately sold Daredevil to Netflix, and it blew up. But now Netflix are now negotiating with Marvel uh, to to actually bring that because uh, they're doing the Defenders. I don't know the Defenders. Uh, Daredevil, uh, Iron Fist. Uh, yeah, Iron Fist, yeah. Luke Cage. Yeah. And <laughs> it's everyone who's been in the new Avengers in the yeah. last couple of years. So basically, like, they are the next generation of Avengers. So they're actually doing the Defenders. Oh, okay, cool. And that's Netflix's big plan. But the plan is they're looking to launch it and then bring it back to Marvel. Sorry. I'm going to Sweet. Stop talking. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Nerdgasm over. Yes. Um, I hope any of you listeners followed that one because I could, but I doubt. A lot of people. I've got two pots in front of me now. It's, it's time for the hot pot, sir. <laughs> I was it? Okay. Sorry, I got I got my pots mixed up. So because... thank you, Dan, for that question yes. about Marvel movies. Thank you, um, Dan, for bringing I me hope in. you enjoyed the discussion as much as I did. Kel <laughs> <laughs> was in full relaxation pose because she knew she didn't have to be up on the mic. <laughs> so Tom, one from the hot pot. Hot pot. I should have prepared before I clapped in from our break, shouldn't I, really? No name on it, unfortunately, but it's one from the host. So if you could design a weather phenomenon, what would it be like? Like a rainbow avalanche or quake-nado? Oh, shit, that reminds me of a story I read on Fire-nado. the fucking internet today. The Fire-nado yeah. from the Jim Beam factory. Yeah. Eight, <laughs> 800,000... Uh, gallons. Le- gallons was it? It's yeah, it was, it's gonna be gallons. Yeah, it was gallons of whiskey accidentally got hit by a lightning, lightning strike. Oh and fuck! The and weather pattern at the same time whipped it into like the microclimate in the area, whipped it into a fire nado. Yeah. So they're called yeah, they're called fire devils. They they they, they happen quite a lot in Australia. Was it they? they Get like routinely get bushfires over there, and the wind just whips it up into these, these towers. Surely that's what... whiskey fire nade. That oh. is not how I would design a weather event. <laughs> Any weather event that costs me whiskey, no, no, bad weather. However, if you were some kind of deity that fed off the destroyed remnants, the sacrificial. Oh, was it? Was that it? Was it just like the heavenly yeah. host trying to get pissed? It's like, well, we need to burn something for it to come <laughs> exactly. up. Here. So, uh, all right, where's where's Zeus? Zeus, Zeus. All right, mate, could you uh, just uh, yeah, yeah, just just there. All right, lads, <laughs> time to get smashed. Damn like freaks. Offler's sausages. <laughs> I think tornado above a petrol station when somebody's having a cigarette. That was going to be fucking amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I don't know. I mean, I'd, I'd quite, I quite like the idea of, um, oh, I don't know, let, let's say, uh, spinning rains of, of crystal shards intensely localised to Morrissey. <laughs> <laughs> well done. I free the rain. <laughs> no, 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 actually, no, no. Do you know what? I'd, I'd give that one to Phil Collins. To Morrissey, I'd just give, like, a monsoon of bacon. Jesus Christ, if, if, <laughs> if that's what you'd give to Morrissey, like, what would you give to, um, I don't know, Bashar al-Assad? Oh, I got political. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, satire. I mean, one of them made slightly offensive music. The other one completely immiserated his entire nation. Immiserated? Immiserated. <laughs> immiserated. Who was, who, who was he the leader of? Who does he? I, I don't, Syria. Who, who, Syria. <laughs> I, I, don't know, I don't know if you've been Al-Assad. on, on this I, for a while. Says, Bashar al-Assad. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, fair enough. Um, I, uh, sorry, I, uh, I, I, I thought he was uh, had a different name. Sorry. <laughs> um, I, I don't know. I, 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 he's, he's, he's been dealt with, though, hasn't he? No. Is it, uh, is it, okay, fine. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> do, 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 do you know what I'd do? I'd give him ISIS. Well, he's already got ISIS. Yep. He's already That'll got, do. He's got quite a lot of ISIS <laughs> all up in every crevice, to be honest. Yeah, fine. Let the fucker deal with that. Well, he's not 
and mm. it's it's quite bad. Is it? Are, 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 aren't uh, anyway. they trying to burn him out? Anyway, yes. Yeah, yeah. Stop, yeah, that was stop trying to go really political. Did. We've got an enemy. Put fire all around it. Don't worry. If, um, if you want to go political, let's say no harder than, say, uh, Jeff Beck or maybe uh, Westbury County Church. I want an ice cream blizzard. Well done, Kel. I want a little <laughs> rain cloud over my head like Eeyore. <laughs> what, like just, a per personal rain cloud that yeah. follows you? Yeah. I want... Be nice in the summer mm. when I'm too hot. I want somewhere in between where it's rainy and rainbows. So you've got the sun still coming out and it's sort of refracting off the light pellets in the air. Sort of... Light pellets. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> what I mean by that is raindrops. <laughs> I'm pissed. I knew exactly what you meant. <laughs> it's light just, pellets, I'm pissed. No, um, Tom, so, it's just like that song, Light Pellets Keep Falling on My Head. <laughs> <laughs> and that's why my forehead will soon be turning red. Mm. Uh, <laughs> Singing in the light pellets. <laughs> so the light's refracting off water vapour in the air, just between rain and rainbow, where the sun will cause an enormous shadow to shape like a skull. Oh, be mm. pretty. Necro bow. I, I, <laughs> <laughs> sort of like with your, your personal rain cloud, but mine would be a personal like snow cloud, which is just a <laughs> Could cold, we cold, swap cold periodically? Because everyone's like, I'd like to make a snowman. Well, no, this is the thing. My, my personalised uh, snow cloud would come along and it would just create slights. Ooh. It would start here and then it would just move increasingly slower away and then would disappear. So you just have a green field with a snow slide. With a slip and slide. <laughs> Sweet. Yeah, that'd be well cool. <laughs> as, as, designer, as designer weather phenomenon go, I'm You've I'm tamed the ice age. I've created the ice age in a really specific place. <laughs> I, quite, I quite, just quite like the idea of, of clouds. They don't just like... Like let some rain fall for a while. If they've got something to drop, they drop it all at once. Oh, so like just a, like a, a cloud creeps overhead and just goes, and then you know, wet or snow. In that case, Done. Tom, Tom, I changed my answer. I want a cloud. Yes, but I'm going to change the aspect of the cloud to my need. In fact, I'm going to make it a utility cloud. Oh fuck your utility kill! Oh god, the entire time we were at Bloodstock, Tom, I'm going to buy a utility kill. No, you're fucking not. I will disown you as a friend. Yeah. I, think, I came Sorry, I, so close to buying one. I, I missed that entire topic basically because Kel handed me a note said I want ice cream. <laughs> and I just pissed myself laugh. Basically, Kel doesn't get to hold that note up because rumour has it she's got an ice cream maker. Yeah. <laughs> it's not made it over it yet, has it? No. <laughs> you need to come and pick me and my ice cream maker up. Oh, she needs a drive. What happened, excuse me. What happened to the flame towers for Tiki? Oh, they're, where's my flame towers? I built them. They're in my shed. <laughs> Why were they not here for Tiki? Um, I was. Where was I? I went Working. out. You were I went you, out. No, did I go out? You were here. <laughs> you were here. I was out first, wasn't I? Yeah. Somewhere. Yeah, but you could have dropped them off at any time before. No, I was busy, mate. <laughs> you could have picked them up for, for the audience I built two flame tornadoes made out of two PC fans and a bit of PVC tubing that oh I can't wait to see them in action are quite good tiki torches yep. yeah <laughs> well I would like it to rain cats and dogs for once because I've always wanted to open a kebab shop <laughs> into the microphone I do um you know We're actually talking around the microphone at the moment <laughs> Well, wow. okay. That's Cats and I dogs. Like that's what I'd like. <laughs> because I want to open a kebab shop, but it would be ethically sourced, it would be locally sourced, and it would all be free range. I mean, they used to be up in the sky. Enjoying now, their lives. <laughs> now they're all down on the see. ground. I mean, and it, and we, it all comes ready tenderised. <laughs> I mean, what do we do? Do, do we just throw all that meat away? No, we use it. We use it. We <sighs> blend it together. We spice it heavily. It's going to be delicious. Alex. I, if it ever rains cats and dogs, I will buy you a kebab shop to open, but I will buy you one in Battersea. Yeah. <laughs> 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 oh, yes. Um, yeah, right next to you. <laughs> and we can... We international can do... listeners... Listeners? Lister to this? Oh, <laughs> oh, so There's only one of them. International listeners, Battersea has a dog home that's 
like very famous. And a cat home. It's Battersea Dogs and Cats Home. Actually. Yeah, get it right, it's, Tom. Uh, yeah. Until 2017, at which point it will be Alex's kebab shop. They're not racist anymore, unlike people who either like just dogs or cats. Racist. You're Could racist. You? You're animal racist. Stop it. Agreed. Specious more. Could you imagine if you like got a rescue pet and it turned out uh, that, you know you had one of those racist dogs? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> how how the fuck Race would you deal with that? Kel, would you like a racist dog? <laughs> cracker! Cracker! cracker. <laughs> Barking at you all day and night. I don't need a racist dog, I've got a racist dad. <laughs> I wouldn't mind a racist dog. No edit do- there. <laughs> Taz, I wouldn't mind a racist dog providing it was racist against, like, the Mexican people because the chance of it actually showing its racism minimalized. True, uh, and uh, just just, just don't take bad. it to Edinburgh Castle. Yeah. Also, Wait. that I'm pretty sure being Mexican isn't a race because it's a country. No, but you, sorry, it's, 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 race it's against race. Mexicans. It's just xenophobia. It's just good old fashioned xenophobia. Right. <laughs> 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 there are Kel. Do you want to get something from Pol Pot? Hang on, he thinks cats and dogs are racist. Species. No, he, pe- people who stick to no, not racist, races. Oh, he said it would end the racism of people who only like cats, only like. But dogs. they are. They have. They have like very particular cultural identities that can be traced yeah, back through generations. They're different creatures. No, they've they've provided a, a lot to the to. Okay, keep it whimsy. Next so, one. So, this one. Is from James. Oh, not from James. Oh, James. Who's James? Hello, James. I don't know a James. I once met James. Oh, and Coventry Way, that James. <laughs> no, it's actually around Bombay with that James. <laughs> anyway, what's All this right, question? Yeah, what does James <laughs> say? Thank you. <laughs> Do cows have calf muscles? <laughs> <laughs> All of them until they get about eighteen, and then they're a bit more adult. Bull muscles. Mmm, <laughs> <laughs> muscular, muscular bulls. I, I don't know the anatomy of a cow very well. I assume they do. I don't know. Think like cow feet are called something different to human feet. They're called hooves. Do cows have hooves? Yes. 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 Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, don't worry. Uh, no, but no, but pig, cows, pig, cows pig, are an ungulate. We've, we've, yeah, but, no, but no, pigs no, have trotters. Just so are whales. Pigs have trotters. Yep. I didn't know whether cows had their own thing. No, but cows have four prehensile toes, and it's a wonder they still haven't come up with written <laughs> communication. Apparently, <laughs> apparently some of them at, have. Have you ever looked at a cow? <laughs> <laughs> no, I've never seen a cow. Of course I've seen a cow. That's, it. That's uh, how they communicate. They knead the earth with their prehensile toes. Then another cow walks over it, puts his toes in it, and goes, Oh, that means. Cow braille. Yeah. <laughs> Bovine braille. <laughs> <Is> that... <laughs> exactly. That's exactly what I mean. It's, it's inverse braille because it's indentations. So. In- yeah, but they, they, they like exclusively write things like Daisy was here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> The internet told me that uh, apparently cows have friends, and if you separate a cow from its best friend, it gets stressed. Oh, poor stressy cow. Mm. Well, how stressed does it get when its best friend goes through a grinder? Oh, uh, I imagine very stressed. Mm. Do they get to watch? No! Daisy! <sighs> I hope not. <laughs> Probably, but I hope not. Maybe if it's a really, really sadistic farmer. Right, speaking of so, sadistic farmers, who's up next? <laughs> it's, that'd be you. Is it? Well, yeah. Uh, um, this one. This one. Thanks, James. Thank you very much, James. I'm sorry, that was a, a little difficult to deliver on that one. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so one from the host pot. Pot, pot. Fill in the air, fill in the Almost air. Almost dong when you put that down. Dead air. <laughs> This one is from Ed Paul. What a twat. <laughs> um, Straight from you then. Let's go. Hashtags that should never be used. <laughs> uh, Familial rape. <laughs> well, <laughs> this, all, <laughs> this all started because um, I, I, I put a hash, I was trying to search a hashtag on Google and um, uh, amongst the many results was hashtag miscarriage. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> You've got to stop exploding at the worst moment. <laughs> they, they were late for work, were they? Missed the train. No, like, literally. <laughs> it was like... I, like <laughs> I think it was something hashtag. like, I was worried I'd have to tell my mum, hashtag <laughs> miscarriage. <laughs> it was horrific. Jesus <laughs> Wow. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> that's got to be someone's left their Twitter account logged in and someone just raped the yeah, shit and out I'm going to say now, no, I didn't write it. Oh, yeah, no, that's, that is pretty good. Well, you used it as a celebratory hashtag. No, sorry. Hashtag miscarriage. Dodge the bullet. Hashtag miscarriage. <laughs> Oh my God. <laughs> if, if any of you knew one who'd actually had one, it, it probably, probably wouldn't be. No, one. we're not laughing because it's funny. We're laughing it's, because it's, it's horrible. horrible. <laughs> I mean, somebody's actually used that before. Yeah, but in, I don't believe... In, in the real I world, I didn't actually use that. I don't believe it's real. I don't believe they use it seriously. Do you? Clearly well... you do. Well... <laughs> I, I don't have much faith in humanity, so... He meant he doesn't have much faith in you either. Thank you. (laughs) (laughs) Worst hashtags. Yeah, I don't know. Hashtag Pot Topic Podcast. Get on it. (laughs) (laughs) Hashtag Morrissey. Oh, yeah, that's right. Have you opened like uh, an Instagram account? I have. At Pot Topic Podcast now. (laughs) We're no longer just a fucking hashtag motherfucker. We're coming full force with an account with three whole pictures on it. (laughs) Oh, yeah. (laughs) One of them is me doing a paedophile grin. One of them is Tom Ryan sucks balls written on the back of a toilet door. I saw that. And the last one was, (laughs) shit, we got to do this episode recording with two (laughs) bottles of whiskey. (laughs) (laughs) I um, I had a, a, a really, really adult meal. Where I had. <laughs> what the hell is a really adult <laughs> meal? I'm, a, I, straight off a I'm, I'm about to tell you. We, we didn't. We didn't eat through our mouths. We ate through our genitals. I'm, I'm sorry. Mm. I, you've had clunge su- sushi, have you, Kel? I had body sushi in New York. Yes. <laughs> she looked so scared. Oh shit! I've just admitted something on air. <laughs> <laughs> God, that's such a shit thing. <laughs> so shit. Body su- I, I think I'm out of the loop. That, it's where you have a naked lady as a plate. Or a naked sushi. man. You yeah. have a naked but yeah, just, yeah, like, you just some. I mean <laughs> <laughs> it's a, it's a, I don't know. The concept uh, maybe sounds interesting. So Su- sushi's like totally awful. Yeah, but sushi should always be well, sushi well, at least should be cold. So I, is I, this is this person's body? Is it hot or is it nice, it's n- nice and dead? You have to hear and <laughs> nice and dead. <laughs> oh, well, that, there you go. There, there you go. That's that's a hashtag that should never be. It's like, nice and oh, dead. No, had, had, had a really nice meal. Hashtag mortuary body sushi. <laughs> I don't think we can get better than that, do we? Because <laughs> yeah. really, what what you want as a kind of presentation slab is a refrigerated body, surely. <laughs> yeah, you want your case, don't worry, we're with you. Best hashtag ever. <laughs> <laughs> Andy's argument against sushi is just beautiful, though. Oh, sushi's awful. Sushi's wonderful. Sushi's awful. I but went for sushi. I'd never been for sushi. Someone that said to me, come out for my birthday, we're going for sushi, do you eat sushi? And I was just, I'd never eaten sushi. I can't remember ever eating sushi. I clearly don't eat sushi. So we went, and I was expecting there to be some, like, raw fish uh, involved somewhere. Um, and what I was served was little pillars of cold rice, Wrap, wrapped in water, water leaves, oh, yeah. and uh, <laughs> and oca- occasionally you get got a, like a, a shard of solid water. And for those who don't know, that's cucumber. And uh, and yeah, and then and then we got some like deep fried like vegetables that were hot. I was very mm. underwhelmed with with sushi. Yeah, you it do. cost so much. It cost so much. The seats were uncomfortable. <laughs> 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 There's a yo sushi in the grays now. Do you want to go? Oh, don't go. It's rubbish. What I wanted to tell you guys <laughs> was at the weekend I found a buffet that right. is a dim sum. 
Yeah. Sushi. Yeah. Chinese. Yeah. Thai. Okay, that's too many cultures mixed. That's going to be horrible. Clearly, you've never it been to Buddha Belly. It was so good because Trish could have all of the dim sum she wanted. I could have all the sushi she wanted, and then we shared some of the chai. It was amazing. I need to take you. Perfect. I'll go on that sister date with you as well. <laughs> <laughs> so, would you not have sushi? None was ordered. No, but if if someone offered to take you out for sashimi, sashimi, I would, good. I would, I would, I would try some. I don't think that I'm gonna like. Didn't I you think cold sashimi. sashimi with us at one point. I did come out for that. Was the second time I went for sushi. Yeah, um, I think sashimi and is what you think. The sushi the was. seats were well more comfortable when we went out for sushi mm. with you. Mm -hmm. Like so, the entire experience was, was better. better yeah. yeah. Have you thought? <laughs> have you thought of writing a good food guide just based on comfortability of the seats? <laughs> Barbacoa could no, stretch no, the, out um, leg room. The uh, the Australia Barbie horrible <laughs> camping chairs right up your jockstrap. <laughs> the uh, the um, recipe book that I'm going to write is uh, chip buses. Chip buses. Chip buses. Could I donate a recipe to that? I have Absol really abso recipe. absolutely. We're go we're gonna make we're gonna make so many chip butties, <laughs> and we're gonna and we're gonna. There's gonna be one recipe of the chip butty where basically you start off with complete like basics so you go out into the back garden and you plant is, some is, potatoes is this the <laughs> is this the english version of sushi <laughs> yeah absolutely andy can the front cover don't call it like a guide to chip butties yet have a really positive pointy finger pose of you mm. going i can make you fat <laughs> i can't in all honesty envision anything ever anything good ever coming out of the hashtag hashtag daddy's little secret <laughs> <laughs> John Snow motherfucker <laughs> oh, whereas big secret I mean that could always be a good thing little secret that's all oh, no no big no, secret no, would be no, like no, no. Da yes daddy's been hiding this from you I've built you a theme park but little secret would be like mm, Mm -hmm. I don't know. I'd say Big Suki might be. Dad lost his job three months ago and has been leaving the house at nine o'clock just to hide the fact. A uh, uh, really <sighs> whilst cooking meths. Yeah, <laughs> fucking, <laughs> fucking prostitutes. And when asked about it, if someone came knocking the door, Mother Teresa. <laughs> he said, "I did the knocking." <laughs> and surely, surely, anything hashtag Jeremy Kyle's got to be pretty awful. Anything Jeremy Kyle is. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, do we really have that twat in our country? Like, forget kicking no, refugees out. Be, Kick Jeremy Carter. There, could, one more refugee. Could be worse, mate. Did he not go Kick to America? literally <laughs> any American talk show host? Yeah, I know. Oh, no. I love a bit of Jerry Springer. And Steve. Love Steve's new talk show. Say new. It's been out for years. It's not new. Why, 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 why do you do this to yourself? Why would you? Funsies. She likes to feel better than other people. I don't am better than other people. Alex, Fuck don't you. keep pushing her. She'll pick up a chair and swing. <laughs> Jerry, Jerry. Right, next topic, go on. This isn't so much a, a topic as a user-submitted action. Okay. Uh, from Captain Sickbeard. All right, Dom. Uh, at the next Pearl Pot, all hosts must pass their drinks to the person on their right. No, I'm the only one drinking maple oh, whiskey. Oh, fuck! Fuck you. <laughs> All right, which one? Because no, I've got two the drinks. Ne the next Pol Pot. Oh, I've got the, till the next Pol Pot be... to finish. All right, well, we're, then we'll have to do another Pol Pot Better pretty drink much both now, because we've got ten minutes uh, left. So I just, so I just do, to do no one. Yeah, okay. Can... At the next Pol Pot, so it's now, isn't it? Or we just do it at the start of the next episode. Oh, fuck's sake. No. I... Oh, that's worked. That's worked. So I've gone from almost no whiskey yeah. to <laughs> a fucking tram full of whiskey. Fuck's sake. I am not giving up my gin. It's alright, I've got a hobgoblin here as oh. well. <laughs> you can Kel, give up your gin. No. I'm ashamed, but Kel, I just necked the maple. I just I gave, I just gave sip. both of mine away. And I, and, I, and, I, and I got a pint of Stella, so I'm pretty happy. I got the whiskey Ooh, that I gave. Nearly spilled it all over myself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, tried to, <laughs> tried to drink way. it from the wrong side of the can. This isn't on, I've just not got a drink now. Yeah, I tricked Kel. No, I've the, well got a gin now. The drink is there. Darren's holding the bottle. No, no, but let's give... Give her the Heineken. That was mine. Oh. <laughs> look at the look. Uh, Ricard. This g and is <coughs> lovely, Kel. Says. <laughs> uh, go on, drink it. Drink it, Kel. Drink it, Kel. Drink that Heineken. <laughs> I know Kel. you love it. Whose Heineken is it? It's mine. mine. Go on. <laughs> it's it's going to be the nicest thing in the world. Oh, girl! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> she is necking the entire can. She doesn't like beer. I was just going to get a picture. <laughs> For that, you can have your G&T back. That was pretty good. <laughs> now neck that too. <laughs> neck it. I'm the only one who's got to work in the morning. Kel, no, you're not. No, you're not. No, you're not. <laughs> <laughs> We're all dysfunctional around here. So, Ricardo's Pop Topic Band, the Pop Topic Band, oh, how fuck. would it sound? <laughs> what would it look like? Oh, my God. I don't, I don't even want to go there. It's, it's gonna, it's... <laughs> oh, by the way, Ricardo, I saw your new sound card. It's pretty fucking boss. Anyway. New sound card? Yeah. He posted it up on Facebook. I saw it. It's pretty fucking Oh, okay. Oh, cool. <laughs> so, Taz is on base? Yeah, I... I, I we, yes. Yeah, I mean, I, I will happily take base, but I, I don't think the important thing is, like, what we're all playing. I think the important thing is what we end up making. <laughs> and and it noise. Will, oh, no, but if we're making something, we've got to <laughs> okay, see what so, we're playing first, what we then we make out of it. Yeah, if we go around the room and just try and get a genre first. Well, uh, can I be percussion? No, genre. So we've got okay. <laughs> new metal. We've got drum and bass. <laughs> new metal. Nah, uh, probably hip hop. Hip hop. Kelp. Hmm? A genre. <laughs> Name a genre. Musical. Uh, Gamma. Gamma. <laughs> <laughs> that, that fits fucking perfectly with my genre. Mine's digital hardcore. Prog rock. Prog rock. Progressive death metal. Yeah. Okay. So we've basically got. It would be it'd be something along the lines of we got piano led, multi time signatured, blast beats, punk. I feel really goth. lightheaded. Uh, oh <laughs> God, <laughs> Ricard, no, this is too hard. Basically, what we've got is a band called Unexpect. Can I ask? Oh, no, yeah, I don't, I don't know if we would play that fast much, though. But, um, I do if, like Unexpect. Yeah. They are. Chaos, their bassist, is How heartbroken mental. would Taz be if this band formed and then it just naturally started sounding like the Smiths? <laughs> <laughs> I, I would probably God. kill myself before taking the lives of several... Can we not bodies. just sound like baby well, metal? Right, to fuck okay, off I, I actually... Oh, fuck! Kill's got it. What's that? We'll just sound like baby metal to fuck off hell. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> well... I, I actually, I actually had to write write the words down so to get like the the entire genre name in in front of me. But I reckon we'd end up playing something along the lines of extreme digital break prog. <laughs> <laughs> and what and what would it look like? What would it look like? <laughs> Mate, well, it sounds lasers. Just like me. <laughs> there would be lasers, mm. um, and then there would be lasers. Mm. There would be lasers um, and lasers, and I don't know, maybe some day glow shit. It, it would look like crystal <laughs> mushrooms fucking each other in hell. Imagine, <laughs> <laughs> whilst also cursing the establishment. <laughs> Imagine a nuclear bomb inserted up the ass of a rainbow hedgehog and exploding. <laughs> 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 uh, uh, yes, a Cthulhu hedgehog. We, we, there's got to be tentacles in there somewhere. Tentacles. Oh, there could be lasers coming out of the tentacles. We're just about having mechanical tentacles. Just go wibbly, 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 wibbly around this side. Would they be laser the tentacles? They're laser <laughs> <laughs> Um Yeah, I mean, obviously, lots of smoke. Almost too much smoke to see us. <laughs> oh no, um, there'd be a fog of cloud around us. I would. I mean, we'd probably like. Uh, do you know that would be Hal's role? He would be smoke machine. <laughs> <laughs> Him and his volcanic panic, uh, volcanic vape out off in the corner. To go. Hello. Um. As long as his right, wife okay, singing. I have a I'm new topic. Happy. New topic. Wow. I was prepared to talk a little more on that, but Alex has decided. Ricard, Ricard sorry. Thank you very sorry. much. That was a very good topic. <laughs> we, have no, we, we didn't cover the fucking topic no. fuck you Alex right, we fine, didn't, Tom would fine, make 8 fine, bit fine, noises I would be on oh, decks that one, though, I'd, be, I'd be making 8 bit noises while also <laughs> screaming at the way the Fox News behaves yes <laughs> uh, Beth would be singing as the counter niceness oh yeah no she'd be we'd, we'd, and shit. we'd probably find some way of hooking up uh, the output of a theremin Oh, to, I love them. To, to be like the MIDI controller on an oscillator. So that when we wanted to get like hit the cum button on the oscillator, just someone just throws the hand in the in the um in, in the <laughs> oh, I like that. <laughs> <laughs> um some yeah, something like that. Uh, in terms of style, the things we'd wear, it'd be 
Nineties hot house flowers. I don't no. Know. no, 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 no. It would be what we're wearing right now. No. <laughs> this is all I ever wear. T-shirts and fucking jeans. These I will say, I, 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 would, I would get some sick oh, harem pants made. I would say, I would sample. I bring my urban camo. I would sample all of Viola's <laughs>, laughs and then do a fifteen-minute laugh solo in the middle of the song. <laughs> <laughs> With animation of Dee in each of the laughs, just going. Yeah. Oi! Oi! Don't kill me! Oi! Pretty, pretty, pretty. In joke six hundred and fifty-five, I memorised that. I think. Did you? I don't think you did. And we all know the chorus. Got it wrong, probably. And we don't know the chorus. Melty, melty, jolly face. Again, another in joke from fucking Tiki. Yeah, I, I think basically, regards, it'd be a mess. It, yes, it'd be a mess. <laughs> it'd be a big, it'd be a big, we, we at all, times flamboyant mess. We have too many. I'll different... go so far as to say big flamboyant and definitely alcoholic. Yes, it would um, probably be our only middle ground. Would be the alcoholism because everything else would be a complete difference. It would end up with Monday morning, several people waking up to just white noise of a recorder going round and round and round. And playing it back and just thinking you've got rock star God and hearing, uh, what were we doing? And playing back and got Miley Cyrus Wrecking Ball. So. <laughs> In G, yes. That would be oh, the, the G, first cover. G major. Yeah. G, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I was doing a callback. Yeah. Cool. All right. <laughs> now you can have your new topic, Alex. All right. It's uh, in retrospect, not necessarily. That We've good. only got about five minutes. Oh, um. Speed right, topic. Okay. I, I, th from, I think this one might run a little longer. Speed topic, go. Speed topic. It's from Anonymous, and the topic is breakups. Are you fucking... Yeah. Yeah. Speed, oh. speed topic, I'm guys. No, 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 out, no, 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 outs, no speed topic. <laughs> let's just, let's just talk about some breakup shit. Oh. Um, cause there was, oh, who was, oh, it was that first one I did in the phone box from a different city in the country and just called her and said, yeah, no, it's over. You piece of shit. All right, break, brave, breakups. Because I'm brave. fucking someone else already. All right, breakups. When we were at school, breakups traditionally happened in Churchill Gardens. Like, that wow, people, you had a location? Yeah, people people took their girlfriends to Churchill Gardens because it's nice and pretty. You never <laughs> sit down and then you break up with them. Um, oh, okay, so I maybe do... believe they're going to have a nice day out there. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> I do remember one time that um i mean i i thought we'd broken up uh but uh but um i uh, <laughs> she didn't was wrong <laughs> but uh, you got I, married instead I, didn't you i i might have i thought we i swear we'd broken up but then <laughs> but then i got a phone call from her mate and uh uh her and her mate and uh, all her mates were were down the pub and uh, they Celebrate. were down the pub. Oh, I just had for a drink. And uh, they were down the pub at uh, the pub that was at the end of uh, the road that I lived on. Um, and the conversation <laughs> vaguely went along the lines of, da -da -da -da, "How's it going?" Because oh, right, it was I was talking to the phone call was from my girlfriend's friend. Oh, my ex girlfriend's friend. And, uh, and she sort of said, like, oh, you know, she might like to, she'd kind of like to see you. And I sort of said, oh, I've, but I've moved. Because <laughs> 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 I'd, I'd gone to uni and I was living in Kingston by this point. Right. Who's, uh, uh, no names. Uh, no, no names. names. So <laughs> yeah, no, so, so I was dating, I was dating someone the the summer before I went to uni. I thought we'd broken up. I was pretty right. pretty pretty sure that we'd broken up. I'm really sorry to interject, but Taz just went to count off your girlfriends on his hand, and he got to his thumb and stopped. <laughs> no, I, was, I was thinking, yeah, no, I was thinking about pre uni girlfriends, and it's just, yeah, I can only <laughs> only think of of one because you were with her for fucking ages. True. Anyway, anyway. Sorry, yeah. Yeah, I was, please. I was like, but yeah, no. She uh, and, and I got hung up on mm. on the basis of me saying that I'd moved. How dare you? <laughs> but I had moved. I wasn't lying. 
Like, I thought her hanging up on me was unjust. I thought you never moved on as in emotionally. Like, no, no, no. I was living in Kingston instead of so Bromley. So you physically fucked off I'd, at the end. I'd, li- I'd actually gone to university and I'd moved. And um, apparently my ex-girlfriend was not aware that, A, we'd broken up or that I'd moved. <laughs> so from her point of view, Fucking her dog, boyfriend, dude. she wake up, her friend called her boyfriend to say come down the pub. And her boyfriend has literally left the area to get... Uh, Presumably in her head to get away if she was unaware of the breakup. Well, Andy, you are accidentally a bastard. Yeah, no, it, compl- it came as a complete shock to me because I hadn't thought about it at all. I was moving to uni, I was, I was in the middle of Freshers Week. Ah, fair play. Cherry picking. <laughs> 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 That's why you broke up. <laughs> That's what Freshers Week is in this country. It's fun. <laughs> so, your turn. Breakups. <laughs> no, fuck off, mate. <laughs> Don't look at me. I just did the first one. <laughs> no. Um, actually, have we got... I've, I've got... I mean, I've got... I've, see, I tend... Apart from one instance, I tend to do the breaking up rather than be broken up with. Well, it's the fact you're still doing a podcast with one of your exes right now. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you are darling. Me, me and Tate ended on good terms. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you were such a lovely couple. Um, so, I, mean, I thought so. I thought we were going to I'll, 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 I'll quickly say, like the, the only time I've ever, like, someone's ever broken up with me, they, they did it, like, the timing was just, it was crippling. And uh, no, actually, I was uh, really heartbroken over that one. But I just, I hours off the plane from Spain after being away on a holiday... Um, I'd arranged for the only love letter I've ever written to be sent from an English address while I was away. And uh, she came over and I bestowed, I I got you this, oh, I got you all this, I I gave her all these gifts from Spain. And then she just goes, yeah, so. (laughs) And um, that's the only time I've ever been broken up with. My, My breakups are pretty much all ridiculous. The breakup with the sort of alluded to with, with Kel, I'm not going to go into that because I don't know, there's not really anything funny to take away from it. However, there was that moment where we went outside for a sm- like after we sort of, well, okay, I guess we're broken up then. I'll, I'll move into the downstairs bedroom. Um, uh, it's like, yeah, all right, okay, cool. Should we go have a cigarette? And we went out and had a cigarette, uh, out, outside our flat. And the Aurora Borealis was in the sky. Huh? And it was just like, well, I mean, it's fucking open to go. <laughs> <laughs> the sky, the sky danced with rainbows really the day your union did. ended. I, I hold that moment very, <laughs> very dear. Was, was so, your flat in Iceland? Yeah. No, so it, it's, it's brilliant. It's, it's just like, it, it like was, occasionally the, the, yeah. the Borealis will reach down. In fact, I have never and, seen the Borealis in England. Oh, you can get it like the, ridiculously. Because the, the at, thing at, is, at first we thought it was sort of lights so, over. I don't know somewhere they, we're sending out lasers or something. Yeah, occasionally they do like a big green not. laser shoot shot out of um, Greenwich. Greenwich, don't they? And mm. um, we thought it was something like that, but there weren't any clouds. And so I was like, "What the fuck? Are, what, what is this?" And like, "Oh no, that's that's Norb lights." Cool. Yeah, let, let's take that as a, done a good thing. As a reasonably good sign. Four smiles on this decision. The heavens celebrated the day you two broke up. Oh, yeah. That is incredible. Yeah. yeah. Oh, have you guys not heard this story before? No. It was Miss a real, no. real no. fucking moment. It was yeah, amazing. Yeah. Well, it, it was cool. Um, <laughs> uh, I tried... Oh, God. There was... Uh, there, have you, there have was, you had any sort of, like... Outside of the group breakups that have been horrendous. Uh, no. Allow the man who's recently acquired to the group. Go, um, on, go for it. I'm just trying to think because the majority of my girlfriends unfortunately dumped me. Um, but I know the feeling, mate. It's <laughs> fun, <laughs> isn't it? <laughs> oh, I'm but... really sorry. <laughs> 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 this will be the last podcast. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, Eddie. <laughs> No, I had I had one that literally the night before I got a phone call from a friend of mine standing in a chip shop in Romford, and um, she's on FaceTime. So I asked the phone, what the fuck are you calling me on FaceTime for? And she went, I'm really sorry, but I'll do this, and turn the camera around, and there's my girlfriend in a chip shop queue in Romford with her tongue down some dude's throat. So I'm like, oh, oh, okay. Fucking classy. I know. Essex girls. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You laugh, you're dating one. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> Enjoy. Um, but yeah, so uh, um, I rang... I almost said her name then. Um, I don't know why I bothered because she never listens to this, but... Um, 
I rang her and said like, all right. She's like, oh, all right. And I'm like, have a good night. And she went, yeah. And I pointed out like, it's not any dudes. And she's like, no. I went, oh, well, why are you in the chip shop? Do you want to grab me a... <laughs> and she's like, are you here? And I'm like, no, but turn around. And there's my friend Kel like, hello. <laughs> so the next day I kind of do the walk of shame to her flat, like knowing what's got to be done. But like, I've never broken up with anyone before. So bit man. And then we went over the park. And then literally she spent three hours arguing with me because she didn't see she'd done anything wrong. And I thought this was going to be like, I'm really sorry, but obviously if you want to move on, you want to move on, but I can't be no shit. Blah, blah, blah. See ya. I'm off down the pub. Um, but what actually went on was this three, three hour heart wrenching tears and tiaras about what she did that was so wrong. And by the end, I got so bored. I, I came within a second of just dropping the whole thing and taking her back just to go so I can go to the pub. Because <laughs> 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 I really wanted to go to the pub. <laughs> Um, yeah, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll quickly cover it. Like, uh, actually, one, one of my breakups was uh, a profoundly pivotal moment in my life. Um, it was, it was, uh, it was one of my, I was, what was I, 16, 17 at the time, I suppose. Um, and, like, I was, I wasn't a good person when I, when I was young. I was, I was a bit of an arse. Uh, and I only really got caught out once. And like this, this, this girl found out that I cheated on her and, um, and like she, she had a full fucking meltdown in the middle of the playground. Um, <laughs> and like there actually, oh, for like, fuck's sake. like there was a horde of people around her just making sure she was like, it, it was, it, it was like at points, seven people deep. And, and like there she was just on her knees just sobbing in cause now that, th this this that isn't the breakup is this, this is woman this isn't actually 12. the breakup this is how much of an ass i was right i like we we sort of went on a break for a bit uh no no that was my okay so after a week we had a conversation and i sort of laid it all out to her and somehow managed to convince her that i that me cheating on her was her fault <laughs> and she said sorry to me <laughs> i i was i was a massive um, dick when it yeah. actually came to like we got back together for a while but when it actually came to the breakup um we'd been on a break for two weeks which had been sort of traumatic enough for her and it was looking like like i was thinking oh, i don't know i, th I think yeah i'm probably going to get back together i don't know, see how and sort of arranged to meet at um a war memorial near uh near our school and I, I sort of thought, right, I'm going to sort of go, sort of go meet up and yeah, we'll just continue as, as normal. And then I sort of got there and I was like, no, I don't, I don't want this anymore. Uh, so I just told her, I was like, uh, and she, she, I think she brought like a picnic basket and shit. <laughs> um, and you and like, broke up on a girl who was playing to have a picnic with you. You should have had the picnic first, mate. And you, um, should, you should have churned that first. <laughs> I bet that shit would have been lust. <laughs> some pork pies, some scotch cheese. Hey, you get that shit done first, <laughs> and um, and then you'd be a oh complete nut. You're such an awful person. But but she, she, might, she might make potato salad. That's like his. Oh, <gasps> oh, I didn't even oh, think yeah. about that. Potato salad. But, but the thing oh, is, like, we got there, and like the way the way I told her, like, I was. I, I, it was like a, a moment of real honesty and I was as surprised as she was. It's like, uh, no, I don't, I don't think I can, I, I, I don't want to do this anymore. And then I just sort of walked off and I saw her sort of <laughs> collapse onto her knees again. And then as I was walking off into the woods, I got maybe sort of a good sort of 30 odd meters into like the woods. And I still like, <laughs> fuck's sake. Yeah. As I was walking out, this, this old woman sort of passed me by and, um, after a couple of seconds, I just hear from like outside the woods, like these two almighty, like actual heart wrenching cries of just like, like almost feral pain. And it just sort of stops me. And I just saw, I just sort of ended up sort of standing next to this uh, Hawthorne for a while, just sort of leaning on it. Like, uh, and like, it was the first time I realized that my actions can have a really profound consequence. It can, I can cause serious harm to people. And I, that's when I started becoming like a better person. Mm. Yeah, you know, I, I started being reasonable. I started, I, <laughs> and then after a while, I, I eventually had to go because after a while, the lady who walked past me walked back. <laughs> 
And she just gave me the shittiest look. <laughs> I was just like, oh, okay, it's probably time for me to go. <laughs> um, now, that's that's the serious story. The stupid story was uh, the girlfriend before that, who actually left for this girl. I broke up with her, and the reason I gave is... That <laughs> <laughs> okay. The, re- the reason I gave is that I had had a dream, <laughs> and... Uh, oh, my, fucking hell, I know this my, story. My two guardian angels, I believe I called them Faraday and Carl Karakaven, came to me and said that... If we carried on going out, someone was going to be hurt. And I gave I gave that as my reason for the breakup. And you she's just fucking ass! <laughs> now I broke yes, I broke up I broke up with someone using guardian angels. Basically. In a dream <laughs> <laughs> Um I can't remember. I've got a feeling I I can't I, did I believe it at the time? I don't think I did. No, I think I think I was just done with the relationship and wanted to check out this this, this new girl. Um, you gave the worst. Oh no, I was. Oh, the worst thing is, like, she fault. fucking like, accepted Garthian it. Guardian angels told me not to in a dream. She so, fucking accepted it. I'm like, sorry. Uh, oh, uh, okay. Uh, I'm not, uh, did she actually accept it, or did she just not know what to say? In all fairness, he's such. <laughs> Someone <laughs> just said, "I'm breaking up with you," and she's gone, "You're a dick." He's and such off. a hippie wanker. You're just like, oh, just whatever, yeah. No. I know I know people who've, who've they've they've their girlfriend went on a, a, like a summer camp that sort of thing but it was it was a a, a Christian I'm gonna have to stop sure, you there Andy like Alex has fallen asleep <laughs> <laughs> Alex, I was watching you for quite a while, and you were really asleep. <laughs> That's how to podcast. Sorry, Andy, continue, mate. Yeah. Sorry, we've got audible record of Alex falling asleep <laughs> at the worst possible. Point. We're recording an episode. Do you not love our community? What is wrong with you? Oh, I do. I, I love your community. <laughs> <laughs> the community just came a little bit. Okay. I, I love uh, them with all of my parts equally. All of the parts. <laughs> all of them. Does yeah. anyone else have anything to add to this subject? So I really want to end it there. No, I don't have anything to add. No. <laughs> <laughs> go on. Go on. Um, all right. The, the, yeah, I, I've. I've yeah. I remember, yeah, girlfriend went away to um, like a summer camp, like a like a Christian getaway sort of thing, um, and uh, and then and then she came back and she dumped her boyfriend because he wasn't Christian. Christian. Oh, that's a shame. Mm, that's, that's, that's hard. brainwashing. That, that's shit. a harsh breakup. Sorry, can't go up with an infidel. <laughs> Off with you. <laughs> <laughs> Hope you die. <laughs> no, that's, a, that's, a, that's an easy breakup because she's basically gone, you know what? I've become insane. I've got a new imaginary friend. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I've decided that I love my new imaginary friend more than you. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> Sorry, did we, did we just find the female version of Taron? <laughs> <laughs> Not Guardian Angels using actual angels. To <laughs> <laughs> Wicked. Oh, lovely. I think I think that'll probably do. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Right, so let's end that here. Because we're well over two hours. Eddie, mm. I do believe you have an idea for the outro. Oh, shit. Um, yeah, I was thinking round. Round? Yeah. He wants to do a round. A round? A round of what? Of what? Yeah. Well, a, a musical a, round. Yeah, of what? Robin, round you, Robin. Uh, so, like, if you say eat an apple, t- t- eat an apple. T- t- that's not a round. That's the I, start of the round. And, and what? Uh, improvise and all then, the way around yeah. the table. That's brilliant for me because I'm not involved. Yeah. Um. Yeah, well, it, Tom's also got to talk over it. Yeah, that's what I was keeping it like. Okay, cool. All right, start us off. Yeah. Okay, mm. so eat. An apple, t- t- eat an apple, t- t- eat an apple. Share and tell a friend about this podcast. Yeah. Uh, an apple, t- t- eat. It's Price well worth it. Apple, t- I think if you've got the kind of humour we do, you should share it with one of your friends. Price Sarah Tops. Eat 
and scared. Uh, but, eat, our website is hottopicspodcast.com. Triceratops. Go there to sign up to our newsletter. Our Twitter is at topicpodcast.com. Triceratops. You can also find us on Instagram at the same Triceratops. Eat. And my shoes are so Facebook and Tumblr. Eat. Just search Spot Topic Podcast, you'll find us. <laughs> Come join the community. My shoes are Hashtag apples. everything on Instagram you possibly can Eat. with hash pots. Get it on our and it will be featured on our site. Send your emails to at podtopicpodcast.com. Eat. Rate and review us oh, on yeah. iTunes and Stitcher. If you prefer to watch us on YouTube, like and subscribe to the video. And thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Because apparently all I'm hearing is rabbits like Triceratops and apples. <laughs> thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Episode 016. <laughs> Big up your dead mother. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
I mean, he's gonna, words you can't ignore. He's going to be finished with the Hobgoblin before I get to that, right? Charge, Jacqueline! I, well, I'd hope so. Um, Eddie! Eddie, hurry! Eddie, come on. Hurry! Hurry! Eddie! Eddie! I'm a company, Eddie he's he's here. Here. He's in between the, the scotch and the iron brew. Thank you. There's a bottle over yeah. in the kitchen, man. What do you think I got this one? It's on the <laughs> side. Right, here we go. My turn. So, one... I'm going for a reason. Two. I'm going to use it as a bench. <coughs> Three. Oh, the gin is causing pain. <laughs> Four. Hobgoblin! Five. I am Roo! And it's great. It's not awful. It's not awful. It is surprisingly not awful. It's, 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 it's a pain it's, to get through it. It's a hard, hard gin whiskey. <laughs> yeah, the, the middle, the middle is a bit, and it, it lures you into a really safe, like you, sense of. You start with a bit of fresh lemon zest it, it, and a bit it, of quinine, it, it, it feels and you're absolutely just like, lovely. That's absolutely lovely. It's no. a right dick to you in the middle. And the hobgoblin sort of like you know is it your saviour, you yeah. and then and then you're you're given a pat on the back by the iron brew. <laughs> it's actually not that bad. It's not that bad. The you start brew. soft, get really heavy really quickly, get, and okay. get out to so, nice pretty bits. It's right. like really orchestral black metal. Is it like the, right, is right. It like so, the, is it so like the film the, Babe? Right? You've got the nice rural opening, mm -hmm. then you've got harsh reality coming in, pain, then suffering, then that'll do pig. <laughs> oh, very nice. Very nice. <laughs> right, so, anyway, Eddie. You need to drink. Are, are, you, are, you gonna, are you gonna try our concoction? Okay, but gin traditionally makes me yak. Yep, yeah, it makes us all yak. Gin's fucking horrible. Hobgoblin's gonna fucking kill me. No, <laughs> Hobgoblin is a saviour once yeah, you've no, reached the scotch, no, believe you're gonna, me. You're gonna, you're gonna, so here we go. I have not eaten today. Oh, I'll, stick, oh, I'll narrate well. as we're going through. So this is the tonic water. Lovely. Now we go, go for watch. the Gordon's gin. Gin, Jim. Enjoy that fuck. Oh, and, oh your mother! And then the scotch. Like the Here's a sip of scotch. Let's go. Scotch. Harsh, isn't it? Drink. Right then, the hobgoblin. Isn't yeah. that nice? Isn't it nice? Oh, to that other shit, and then so. some iron brew. Oh, he's, he's going deep with the iron brew. <laughs> hobgoblin, do not like. And <laughs> after the iron brew, isn't it good? <laughs> it's not that bad. The gin. It's a gin. He's on the <laughs> It's a cunt right there. Off the back. Do you get so, that? Let's be a tonic. This, this, this we can do at a bar. Like, Sweps, Slimline, yeah. Lemon Zest. That's achievable at a bar in a shot glass, right? You know, you know what needs gin, to be done? Gin, gin, no, this is, this is no, no, no gin, ladies gin, and gentlemen, do you know what we've invented? No way, do you way, know what no, we've, we've invented? This. When we eventually do a live podcast in front of an audience, the this is what the, the audience the, will be drinking. This is the no, gauntlet. No, but look, Swept the Simline. Pot to Week podcast, lovely shot. Swept Simline with lemon zest, achievable at a bar. Gin, uh, scotch, clearly, hobgoblin, also things you... When's the last time you saw Iron Brew at a bar? It's on my fucking tills at work, which means that it's a hard. Yeah, but it was on your no, tills no, 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 when no. we worked together in no, no, Cafe no. Udo and it, it never fucking turned up. <laughs> Mate, I've got a solution. It's at Harvesters. Yep, let's do this. One. <laughs> no cringe. No cringe. This there's a, 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 a cringe. <laughs> <laughs> and the iron brew. Now is that not the greatest iron brew you've ever had in your life? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not. It's this middle step, isn't it? <laughs> it it's, it's moving from it's there the to there. the whiskey. The meat is there to there. Orange. It's really bad. Oh fuck me. <laughs> That is really horrible. Because <laughs> it's the lowest brand in my fucking company. So that means they've got Harvester. iron brew. We, do, we have to do a pop topic podcast out From the to harvester. harvester. <laughs> 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 Live lounge number one, motherfucker. <laughs> Damn straight. You right, Darren? Yeah, yeah very right. good. Thanks. Anyway, thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for listening. Hashtag pop topic podcast. <laughs> yeah. That was episode... Zero one seven. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> Love you.